I'm gonna have to change the time on that. Let me make sure I'm reset. Perfect. Welcome in! Hi! Oh, perfect. Everything actually fits. Let me go ahead and move the chat a teeny tiny bit. Perfect. That's what I like to see. See, I finally did it after all these years. I finally fixed the chat. <laughs> Hi, how is everyone doing today? I really have to change the timing on the uh, on the other one because it's like, oh yeah, we're going for 10 minutes and then we're gonna do it. Meanwhile, that drives people away. Um, Yeah, do you like my uh, 2000s Mountain Dew can? 
I couldn't find a recent one. So I had to kind of find one that had somewhat of a transparent background, but you can still see some of the, uh... You can still see some of the pixels on it. <laughs> That's my favorite soda. Because it's so easy to drink. Uh, the background looks kind of shitty. <laughs> and then there's just two pictures of real Baby Bill cheese. <laughs> like, I, I was watching, um, some Northern Lion shit last night. On top of watching... What was it last night? I was watching Wendigoon's Junji Ito video about his um, anthology of Uzumaki. And I was like, I have an idea that I want to, like, you know, revamp up the room a little bit. So I was like, sure, why not? I'll watch this. And at some point I was like, okay, I'm gonna get some shit and do that. Someone took a bite out of the desk. <laughs> I I only realize that now because I had to fix up some stuff because I accidentally put the white part of the chat partition onto the same layer that the uh, that the desk was. So I had to erase it and I never noticed that, oh, I should probably put it on another desk, but then I have to go get another can of Mountain Dew and then I have to go get more Baby Bell cheese. These were the only two ones I could find that were actually like properly facing the camera too. I couldn't find ones that were like slightly turned or like an entire bundle of it oh my god the only thing that really sucks no shit cinema roll is not actually on the fucking <laughs> he's not actually on the shelf he's so close to falling off and then the radio just looks like shit <laughs> i i tried modeling it after an old one that i had like pretty much up until i was almost an adult i think i was like no, I must have been, like, 22 when I got rid of the fucking thing because it stopped working. But, yeah. Um, I still have not received the Fresh Preacher uh, SH figure arts. I should be soon. And I wanted to... There was a part of me that wanted to wait until I got them to put in this new one, but it's like, look, we have to start looking professional. So, this is as close as we're gonna get. <laughs> Mountain Dew and cheese. That's as close as we're fucking getting. <laughs> and it's actually really good. I mean, I tried. We lost our pretty, like, our pretty window, though. The window is very basic now. It's very simplistic. And I don't really mind. Like, the window was always a thing where it's like, you need to have somewhat of, like, a background focus. But then again, it's like, if you have too much, it starts distracting from, you know, everything else. The main point of focus here is the Mountain Dew, the cheese, because now there is a huge thing in the community where anytime anyone mentions cheese, um, that's mainly the topic for like 30 minutes in the chat. <laughs> and of course, you guys. I had to make sure that uh, you guys were shown off in all your glory. Cheese? I was cheese once. They locked me in a room. Cheese room. Cheese room filled with cheese. And cheese makes me go... <laughs> makes me spank my monkey. Favorite cheese. It is kind of off of it, isn't it? I might have to change the parameters really quick of that to being 700 Favorite kind of cheese is mozzarella, but it has to be done in moderation. Let me go ahead and change this to just 700 and see if that helps. Well, now it's a little bit too small. Let's do 730. 20. Now it's just making it smaller. <laughs> I think that'll be okay because it's not blurry. God, it kind of is, isn't it? Damn it. We're gonna have to settle on 750, and I might just have to focus on doing other stuff afterwards. Because I want the chat to be legible. Because it needs to be legible to me. <laughs> oh my god. Also, it's not going all the way up to the top again, is it? Oh no, it's just because there's not enough- okay. So, mozzarella grilled cheese is a different kind of sandwich. I gotta learn how to make gourmet grilled cheese again. 
I learned how to and then just never did it, so I forgot. <laughs> I forgore. Like, the funniest thing that I have noticed now about, um, the YouTube... So this is a thing that I don't really have to worry about anymore. Um, I noticed this also last time when we were ending. The viewer count is wrong. You gotta multiply that at least by, like, three right now. Because I know there's three people here right now. And it's telling me that there's only one. <laughs> Curse you, YouTube, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I hate this fucking platform. And the thing is, it's like, there was this big VTuber that I recently saw, like, a tweet from, and I can't pull it up right now because I don't remember their name, and I didn't like it or comment on it because I'm like, uh, it's just kind of a passing thing, whatever. They were like, if you want to get big, you have to go on Twitch, and you have to follow all of these things. I'm like, what the fuck happened to, like, having fun? Like, trust me, I know I'm, like, the advocate of, like, I want to try and get bigger so that we can do more things and, like, have more fun and shit. Believe me, I get that. But when you are literally, like, first starting out and you don't have an audience, like, here we had an audience before I started and also before I restarted and everything like that, too. If you are going on Twitch and you are little misses, I don't have a fucking reputation at all, you're fucking yourself. Like, I would say... And I'm not a person to listen to for this kind of shit, so please do not take my advice seriously. Spoiler, exclamation, etc. If you want to properly do VTubing stuff, I would say try to do videos first. Do videos, do shorts. Um, have yourself in videos playing with some friends. They don't have to be big on the internet, trust me. They don't have to be. But it's like, if people see you playing and enjoying yourself and everything like that, they may want to come and just chill at your streams, like, just saying. Because that's what happened here. And I don't know how the fuck this worked, but it did. But yeah, that's kind of, like, what my thing would be. Like, I... I fucked that up myself, to be honest. <laughs> like, everyone remembers I was an mmd or first over here. And then I was like, I'm gonna do VTubing stuff, and then the VTubing stuff popped off. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna move everything. And I really do wish that that bout of depression just did not kick in. Because then, who knows, we might have even have been bigger than we are now. But, you know, I guess I have to stay at it as now and hopefully try to keep this in my head. We grow as we grow. I can't really force it. Because I try to and everyone's like, oh, why the hell are you promoting yourself? That's so fucking cringe. Like, what? The fuck do you mean that's cringe? Like, I see literal, like, big people promote themselves all the time, promote collabs they're doing and everything. So they do it, it's fine. But if a small person does it, it's seen as being, like, not a fucking smart thing to do. Like, what? Like, believe me, I get that it gets glossed over a lot. But the act of promoting yourself, especially for shy people like me, is extremely difficult to even, you know, press the post button in the first place. Um, yeah, the fact that I try to put myself out there at all, you know, it's difficult. But if people end up coming from different places and see our stuff and everything, and they might want to give my stupid autistic ass a chance, and who knows, they may actually become, um, they may actually become regulars, like a lot of you guys have. So I say thank you very much for that. I got multiple ads over random VTubers coming into the scene, just ads promoting them, it's wild. Like, here's... It's really weird. Uh, Fell, actually, was getting a lot of ads that are like those... You know, like that uh, ASMR meme that was going around like a couple weeks ago? Where it's like, ASMR, I broke into a house and I got shot. ASMR, fixing your back and... You know, like, uh, fixing your back but then accidentally killing you. Like, the goofy meme ASMR videos where it is somewhat but then something kind of fucky happens and it's, you know, funny. He ended up getting a lot of ads for that, too. I wonder where our old CD player is. I loved ours. I just like how you can load in five CDs. Gives, ro <laughs> gives rotary vibes. Same with our vinyl player. So we never had vinyls. Uh, I... 
I do remember that we had the actual, like, players. No, I'm remembering this wrong, sorry. I remember that we had the vinyl discs. Because I remember that Dad had one for... I don't think it was Pearl Jam. He had a couple. He had one for Guns N' Roses, I remember. And he didn't have a vinyl player. Uh, we had, obviously, radios. The radio that I have in the back there... Uh, I forgot to add, like, the inputs and stuff for the headphones jack and stuff. But it used to have to take... You know, like, when you're, like, you're in the studio and you have to, like, have the adapter. It used to have to take one of those. <laughs> so, you know, that was always fun to have to deal with. It's like, shit, I want to listen to the radio. Where the fuck's the adapter? Hmm. And... Like, it did have those two speakers and everything. Like, that was my radio. <laughs> like, because it was my brother's, and then we moved here, and then it became mine. So. Yeah. Uh, that memory held... I mean, that radio held a lot of memories. And then it stopped playing CDs. <laughs> like, once it stopped playing CDs, I was somewhat fine, because I was more of a cassette person for the most part, up until, like, you know, streaming became a lot bigger with, like, um, Google Play music and stuff like that. Yes, I'm that old. Kill me. But, um, once both sides of the record player... No, not record, sorry. Uh... Both sides of the cassette player stopped working. I I was like, I'm gonna ditch this thing. Because the problem was, it's like, yeah, it played AM, AM, FM radio, Jesus Christ. But the problem was, is that the signal was absolute shit. <laughs> so pretty much at that point, it's like, look, uh, your phone, like, you can download, like, radio apps and stuff like that. Just be careful with uh, what ones you're doing and stuff, because some of them are malware, unfortunately. But you can literally uh, either do that or go on, like, certain uh, radios, websites, and stuff like that and just listen online. And really, the only reason why I was listening was because I was bored and I didn't have any music to listen to anywhere else. Or I literally listened to the same cassette, like, 50 plus times. Because <laughs> I would um, record stuff off of, like, CDs and then put them on the cassettes for some reason. <laughs> I'll obviously record the radio. I had a giant Mickey Mouse one when I was a child. Oh my god. I remember when they used to make things look fun. Now it's like a child asks for something and it's like, okay, you can have a flat screen TV. Like, dude, we have to earn our way to even having a big TV. What the fuck do you mean you started with a flat screen? <laughs> what do you mean you started with the Mickey Mouse radio? We had to use the fucking old ass Walkman. CD Walkman. That would literally skip any time you took a step. <laughs> like a giant stuffed animal Mickey. Oh! I don't know. I did. I read that wrong. Um, let me see. I remember... Yeah, Daisy has a lot... Mm. Ignore the name! Anyways. With a cassette player in his stomach. Oh, oh my god. That had to have been terrible. Okay, you can play with them all you want to, just don't sweat on them. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, when it hits 20, we're gonna start transitioning over to game. So I am doing something a little bit different with the audio stuff. So usually what I do is I will take the full audio of the computer and turn it down. Today we are going to start trying to do other audio, which is... You know, turning down a YouTube video that we're taking music for. We're going to be turning down the game that we're going to be playing, that kind of stuff. And a lot of times you can do this, which is great. Uh, times that we can't, unfortunately, we will still have to turn down the PC volume. But that will make it so that we can actually hear alerts. Because last time, um, Freddy Freaker did not get to make his iconic noise of just screaming Freddy Freaker. Because for some fucking reason... The uh, secondary one that was only supposed to play once in a blue fucking moon played twice for the fucking for the projectians um monetary notifications. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me go ahead and shut this off. Hey, get out of this. Let me go to PC view and shut off the display capture. I accidentally I did it the wrong thing. Oh, that's gonna need to change. Fuck. <laughs> They're right behind my head. <laughs> K. 
Can I just straight up, like, move this up? I forgot to unlock the source. <laughs> It does, it just makes it a little bit smaller. Which, like, I guess hopefully this will work. I mean, the main focus of the game is supposed to be the game. Unfortunately, we have to look at it like that. It's like, when we're doing other stuff, what is supposed to be the primary focus? Is it supposed to be the game, or is it supposed to be in the interaction with the chat, or, like, just having conversations? That kind of stuff. All right, let me go ahead and get open Dolphin. Get open my Dolphin emulator. My plaza open. I have to also make sure that I plug my controller so that it doesn't accidentally start detecting other stuff because sometimes we're going to be playing off of Sonic Riders DX this time because it has better quality just in general of everything. Um, I have to make sure that I have the remote plugged in first or else it starts acting stupid. Let me go to configuration audio. Can we try to have it at 10 or is it going to be too much? Let me see. Let's close that right now. Let's get into DX. Oh, Jesus. I have to check the audio balance. Hold on. Yeah, that's way too loud. Jesus Christ. That's a 10? That's a 10! Oh my god. Alright, hold on, hold on. There's no way we're gonna be able to have this at 3%. Really? Alright, well, uh... Guess what decided to come? Um, either one or all of the things? I don't really know. Let me go ahead and close that then. Uh, if it does get loud, I apologize, but I do not feel like dealing with, um, you know, having that all the time, you know? So, here's the game. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stretch it out. Hold on, let me try and look at some of the other settings I can do. Haul video. I wasn't expecting it. I was not expecting it in the slightest. <laughs> Trust me, I was like, what the fuck? I wasn't expecting people. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anything at all. So like seeing that, I was like, kind of like, what happened? Oh no, it was my aunt finally coming over to tell my mother that she committed, like, just to fucking lie and then have me get on the phone and be like, mom, she's being a fucking dumbass again. Enhancements. Anti-aliasing, texture filtering, output relamp. Um, I don't think it would be any of this. No. When you do expect packages. Or sorry, when do you? Imagine if you're racing on a hoverboard with the left and some big ass bird claps your ass. I want damn it, no, I do not want to stop the current emulation. I almost broke everything. <laughs> I want Wave to spit in my mouth. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'm gonna Let me see this. It does actually have a proper invoice and everything on it too. Build goods. Figure no glue. So this is only two of them then. Okay. Let me go ahead and go and get a pair of scissors real quick to... Actually, no! Fell has box cutters on the table. Come on. PK, I'm 26. You gotta expect this rancid shit of coming out of my mouth. Seven. Alright. So, let me see. It'd be fucking hilarious if it was like, okay, here's like two. Like, here's one day you get two of them, and then the other day you get the other two. The background was a profit. <laughs> I just didn't realize it until it was too late. Can you just take off any of those? Okay. Fucking shit. <laughs> Would you believe me if I said I almost cut my finger off with the box cutter? <laughs> All 
All right. Oh yeah, the fucking uh, chat for my site isn't working. Hold on. It's not working on my device. It's working on... It's working on, um... It is, it's peach and berry. These boxes are super tiny too, holy shit. You know, the funny thing is, every time I do get SH figure arts, I always forget how fucking small they are. I do genuinely wish that I would have done them both at the same time. Because now it's probably gonna be a thing where it's like, okay, so today you get these two, tomorrow you get these two. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna break down this box really quick. And then I'm gonna... I was about to say, where did the box cutter go? <laughs> Remember to cut away from yourself so that you do not accidentally cut your fucking throat open. And there we go. <laughs> oh my god. Baby! What are you doing? It comes on a board as well so that they have a thing to stay mounted to. <laughs> I can't tell you how bad <laughs> I can't tell you how bad I want to get another two liter of Fanta and Luke and Luke three giant white chocolate bars. You want to get Luke Skywalker's butt in your ass? All right. Let me go ahead and pull these babies out. I'm Uggos. I don't want to turn on, like, the actual camera right now. I have my hair literally pinned back, and then it's, like, it's dark in here, so you guys aren't gonna be able to see it in the first place. SH Figure Art is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Band-Aid action figure art under the theme Pursuing Character Expression Through Humanoid Actions. Hold on a fucking minute. They said that these were used! These are literally new! What the fuck?! <laughs> They're new! I paid $30 for new shit. I feel like I'm in Japan back in the day right now, my boy. Holy shit. I always forget that, like, Japanese quality standards of used are so much different than US. Because it's like, in Japan, it's, oh, I took it out of the box to look at it, so it's used. Meanwhile, in America, it's like, hey, so it has a couple dents in it, and it's missing a leg, but... Don't worry, it's still sellable. Like, <laughs> listen to that. Oh, that sounds so good. <laughs> They're so pretty, too. They definitely, like... So, um, the fresh ones were, like, one of, like, the first couple of, um... Like, were, like, out of, like, the first couple sets. So they do have articulatable necks. Whereas the newer ones don't. And... The thing is... They ended up cleaning up, like, how they do boxes so well because they look so much more professional later on. But the thing is, I wanted these because Fresh is one of my top three seasons of Precure. So yeah, that was very unexpected, but thank you very much. <laughs> then again, who the fuck am I thinking besides my wallet? I bought these with my fucking, um, what is it called? I bought this with my fucking tax money. <laughs> the boxes are so tiny. Like I think uh, Twinkle's box is a little bit bigger. I will put these up after the stream, but I also don't know if I want to put these up yet or if I want to wait until Peach and Passion come. I think I might wait. I honestly think I might wait. Hold on, let me gotta put these over where they are. I mean, where those are. Okay, no, it's the same size. I'm gonna go and put the box in the recyclable area. I'll be right back. I literally sound like no <laughs> I highly recommend Twinkies <laughs> <laughs> you 
You even want something spongy? Just go and buy a sponge. Not a huge fan of the cream. Uh, let me see. You want something that's spongy? Fudge round? No, nah, it's not really spongy. That's more of like a cookie. Hi, baby. You want to be home like I was holding them? I think I have one of Belle's fucking nail clippings on my ass. Hold on. No. No. He clipped his nose last night, so I was like, oh, maybe. Your ears are stinky. You're so stinky. Why do you keep getting stinky? You're so soft still, but you're so stinky. <laughs> it can actively capture me petting her head with my head. <laughs> Who's my sweet little shitter? Now, I don't think that one picked up, but yeah, you are. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I'll move my things so that you can be on the chair. You go ahead and relax. I just died. <laughs> I died again. All right, let's go ahead and do the story again. <laughs> This time, hopefully, with better quality and hopefully with, uh, you know, better graphics. <laughs> Alright. Is it just stuck where it's like a yellow thing around it now? <laughs> what are you doing, baby? Silly goose. You big silly head. So the thing with DX version is the RNG is a lot harsher because the rubber banding is so severe at times. So you literally have to be like on point with what the fuck you're doing in this version of the game. Like, see how they're keeping up on me now where they weren't in, like, OG Riders? Shit. I turned too- I turned way too fast, fuck. Not fast, I meant really shit. Hmm. I'm keeping your word on the salmon. AI get better. What the fuck happened where we were talking about salmon again? Because I don't fucking remember. Also, glad they arrived at least. Since small figure... Since small figure, no import tax. I'm glad. Does Surugaya do import tax? Because the only thing that I had happen... Which is, like, the usual thing that happens when you're dealing with, like, international uh, yeah. purchasing and stuff like that. Is that the money got put back in my account and then like a day later it got taken out? <laughs> I've always wondered that whenever Sonic does the spin dash, does he homing attack? Or does he homing attack nothing? 
Uh, that's how it is nowadays. <laughs> I don't know. At some point, I want to replay through um, Sonic Adventure 2 again, because that's like three hours. But I don't know. Like, I also saw that it's like, oh, I want to play through Sonic Unleashed. I want to play Freak Style on stream. And I'm like, I played Freak Style. I cannot play that fucking game anymore. <laughs> I tried playing Freak Style like a couple days ago, because obviously got the ISO. What the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? It it put me on it, but then it took me off of the ramp. What? <laughs> oh, old games, I love you so much. I'm not dealing with that. Because that's going to end up putting me in last, being that we're dealing with this much rubber banding. Because they're going to keep fucking going, and then they're going to end up lapping me, like, in, like, a minute. So I don't want to deal with that shit. Because trust me, last night I was doing this, and I was lapping people. And now was going into three laps, so... Imagine what the fuck these people can do, right? <laughs> Alright. Good, thank you, Jesus Christ. God, I hope that changing the fucking bitrate actually did help. Because I love this game so much, but, like, it's it's so fucking old. <laughs> I've always loved racing games. Like, when you start going insanely fast in this fucking game, it feels so good. The thing is, you can only reach going that fast in DX version. Which is free. You can download it right now, and you don't need to do patches or anything, even though it says that you do. That's literally just to get away with, like... Oh, you're technically, uh, illegally distributing a game. Like, that's it. Hmm. Like, literally in the readme, it's like, yeah, no, just literally put this where you have your ISOs. That's it. Like, cause the problem is- Nope, I was about to fucking say! <laughs> don't you dare go backwards, I'm in- I'm in first and it's the third lap. I don't want to have to deal with that shit. <laughs> cause there, I've tried it. I can't fix myself properly there. <laughs> cause I used to fuck up there all the time when I was younger. Frankly, I don't know if the bit rate's any better. I just have this on in the background at my job right now. Like, the thing is, the last time we played it, PK said it looked fine, but it's like, when I was looking back at it, I'm like, it's not up to my quality standards. <laughs> but then again, like, the bitrate at the time was like, I think the standard that it usually sets you at is 2,400, and then you have to fix it yourself, depending on how your internet is. And I was like, well, if it's not working at 6,000, it's not gonna work at 5, so I'm gonna just put it at 4. Like, it's still look, gonna look kind of fucky anyways because it's a GameCube game running on a computer, but still. DX does end up scaling up the graphics quite a lot, and there's a lot less- Fuck, I forgot there's not one there. There's one above here. Fuck. I fucked up! <laughs> Tails and Big are the best Sonic characters. That is certified hood moment, yes. Confirmed the truth. I would still fuck Wave in the ass, though. That That is the number one thing. It's like, yeah, Wave the Swallow, she can fucking get it. Move over, Rouge. You've been topped. <laughs> I thought I was a simp for birds. Turns out I was right. <laughs> I have, like, some funny shit, though. Um, so, as a small idiot, I didn't realize that uh, Storm was an albatross. Because I had never heard of an albatross before. So I was like, oh, he's an abolatross. <laughs> and I would never talk to anyone about this. So it's like, oh, yeah, uh, what's your favorite character? Oh, it's Storm the Abolatross. And 
like, someone looked at me and it's like, I mean, an albatross, right? And I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I looked it up and it's a big ass bird. I'm like, oh yeah, no, I didn't mean albatross. <laughs> no wonder I have no friends. I'm stupid. <laughs> Um, not like I know what the standard is for this game since fast, um, what the fuck does it say? Since fast game, I tend not to notice. So, for me right now, it would be that the screen isn't buzzing up. Because that's what used to happen just when we would play video games in the first place on stream. And I kind of want to try to stay away from that as much as possible. But the problem is, if Streamlabs is going to tell me that I'm dropping frames... I kind of get a bit worried, because I don't want to accidentally have a fuck ton of lag and everything while we're trying to play video games. And like I said before, I want to try and get into where we're- fuck! Where we're, like, playing, like, games as well and stuff, which is why we started playing a game at 20 instead of, like, an hour in, like usual. And... Yeah, I just want things to look nice. But like I was saying before, there is no fucking way that we will be able to play freestyle on this fucking stream. Like, just on the emulator, it's fucking fuzzy. And, like, everything goes super fucking fast. Then, also, I just- I can't play it in the first place. <laughs> like, I can't pull tricks off in that game. I'm- I'm very dumb. Because it's, like, mainly it's, like, you holding buttons and doing combos with holding buttons and stuff. And I'm like, oh, I don't like that that much. I just want to turn the stick. Just blame it on Cosmic Rays works for me. <laughs> Better than Cantaloupe and Antelope never understood home on the range. What? Clumsy, are you fucking high? <laughs> St state not found. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was a thing in this. Fuck. Well, now I have to, uh... Change that that's F7. Fuck. Because I could have just have completely fucked shit up. It's like, did you mean to go back here? I'm like, no, 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 no. This is a dangerous maneuver, boys. Oh, that was clutch. What the fuck? No! <laughs> he cucked me. The Eggman Robo are massive cucks. Because they can do, like, all three. They can do... Or at least they say they can until you actually get them. So, in the story, uh, Eggman Robo are flight, speed, and power, which means they can literally go on any, like, on any terrain and do, like, any special shit that they want. But then when you're actually getting them as a character, the green ones are speed, so they can grind. And the red one is power. None of them are flight. And then they kind of tease, it's like, oh, well, there's a new one, which is a blue one, in Sonic Freeriders, but then they made him power in, like, the group of, like, Team Shadow. And it's like, why? This doesn't make sense. Just make him a speed character. Th this is, this is what it's, or, no, sorry, flight character. This is what it's building towards. Like, don't be dumb and be like, no, it's gonna just be this. I don't fucking get the choices of free riders in the first place. I think just making that game connect exclusive was a massive mistake. Because what it was before is yes, there were versions of Sonic Riders. I don't remember Zero Gravity, but there was Sonic Riders on the Xbox, which is perfectly fine. That was also on PlayStation 2 and the GameCube, which is how we're playing it right now. Um Sonic Rider Zero Gravity, I have no idea about an Xbox release. I know it was on PS2, and I know it was on the Wii. And then Free Riders happens, and it's only on the Kinect. Not even just basic Xbox. It's on fucking Kinect. So it's like, okay, well, you've deadass just killed this entirely in the first place. Because now people who are buying Nintendo and Sony consoles aren't going to want to buy something just to play this game. And then the reviews started coming out, and it's like, oh, it's absolutely fucking atrocious. <laughs> Like, that's what makes me the saddest about, like, Sonic Freeriders, is it's like... You added in Vector, yes, but the problem is Vector is no... Like, Vector would have been on a bike if he would have been 
in Sonic Riders Zero Gravity and all that kind of stuff. Because the bigger characters ended up getting bikes. And just like how Eggman does all the time. Well, when it came to Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, things completely changed. Now flight characters had to work their way up to being flight. And now power characters have to work their way up to being power characters. Because they, in order to properly hit shit... I believe I'm remembering this right? I don't remember. I haven't played Zero Gravity in a fucking while. We might have to do that as well. But... I remember... Or at least I feel like I remember you had to work your way up to even being able to grind. And you had to work your way up to being a power character and a flight character. And then your gear would change according to what path it has. We really gotta play uh, Zero Gravity again, though. Cod, we get a Connect stream. Fuck no. I don't own a Connect, and to be honest, I'm I'm contemplating if I want to play Free Riders because, like, you know, of like the patch that we talked about before, where it's like you can completely play it on a computer now, thanks to some amazing people. But the thing is, I don't like how Free Riders even fucking looks. It looks so empty. It just, it doesn't look fun. It's just, it's sad. Like, Sonic Riders and Sonic Riders Zero Gravity at least look entertaining and, like, have some great mechanics. Like, Sonic Riders is the first in the series, so it's gonna have a lot of mechanics that are carried over. Sonic Riders Zero Gravity brings over being able to gravity bomb onto walls and brings over a bunch of new gear types and everything like that. That's great. That's great. Uh, brings over, like, yachts, which are, like, wave... Uh, wave riders, wave gliders. That's awesome. Brings over the wheel. Uh, the hardest fucking thing to control. I hate playing characters that, like, want to go on the wheel when you choose random. Because it's like, nope, you're going at this point on a pair of skates. <laughs> you wanted to be power, I am completely fucking you over. Fuck you. Like, I don't know, it's just whenever I go back and, like, play through these games, because of how fast Sonic Riders is, especially now with the DX version, um, I always just gravitate back over to this one, because I do have the most nostalgia for this one since I played this one first. Look at how far behind they are. The rubber banding does somewhat break, like, when you get into, like, the later levels and stuff, but then it pretty much picks right back up once you go to Babylon Garden. Hoppa games. Ah, memories of talking about that. Yep. I never played any Papa's Pizzeria games. The most I played was, like, Bloons. And a friend tried getting me into Club Penguin, and I was just like, I don't want to play this. This is stupid. <laughs> don't you want to try to tip over the iceberg? No, that's dumb. Oh, that was smooth. Fuck you. Because <laughs> now, because they're in front, I'm not going to be able to hit the rail as easily. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> you monkey fuck. Specifically quoting Frieza from Dragon Ball Z Abridged, I'm not trying to be racist. Damn it! <laughs> son of a bitch. Alright. I was contemplating us, like, watching DBZA on stream, but I don't know. I really don't. To be honest, if we do, that might just be a Discord-exclusive thing, because I don't really have anything uh, to commentate about it, because it's like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I grew up watching it, but, like, I didn't have any work in the product, like, you know, like, Lanny, um, let me see. Lanny, Scott and Takahata all went through, like, their proper retrospectives on, like, oh, this is how this sh uh, shaped us as creatives, and fuck you, and everything like that as well, and it's like, I'm not a person that worked on it, I would not be able to give an in-depth, like, criticism of this kind of stuff. Or, like, even be like, oh yeah, I really like it, and then we just sit down like Asmund Gold and just walk- not even Asmund, because Asmund at least puts in some fucking commentary. Just sit down 
and just act like XQC and just watch a video and not give commentary on it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, that was so close. I'm in fifth, though. This is bad. This is bad. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up. Because my problem is my way to catch up is going on that one rail, and I can't get there if there's people in front of me. So... And it's kind of hard to cross over it. Fuck you. Oh, God, they're going around it? Okay. Oh, this is gonna be difficult as shit. Please. I need to get some fucking leverage from these motherfuckers. Because my problem now isn't Jet. Jet's like in fourth. My problem is that they're gonna come over, and because one of the robots is in first place, it's gonna make it so- Okay, now he is in second. We have to worry. <laughs> I don't know! So the thing is, like, last night I was playing, and I ended up getting an 8th place, and I was like, I'm gonna try to clutch this shit. And I did. I clutched back into 1st. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, if you've been playing a video game for long enough, like, you kind of know how to, like, save yourself from certain situations and shit. Oh god, they were right on me too, fuck. Alright, that's hero story done. Me and Bungle share Pop Tropica memories, at least. So the problem is with Pop Tropica, I barely fucking remember it, but apparently it's still a thing. Like, they didn't shut down or anything, which is really weird. I think I have the most memories with, like, to be honest, Bratz games. I used to play the shit out of Bratz games. They're way too easy to play now, and I got really pissed off when the new one came out. I think it's called Flaunt Your Fashion or whatever because it plays incredibly differently. You can't run. Uh, it's top down instead of being like the camera's on your back. Like it's like, it's like, it's in an upper perspective instead of being in third person, which it really pisses me off because it's like, that was one of the massive appeals of your game was it's like, this is basically baby's first fun, like playing through game, like how it is right now. And you kind of fucked it. Like, you made it look generic, you made it look like shit. You made the girls look like they have too much lip filler. How the fuck do you do that to a Bratz doll? Like, genuine question. How can you make a Bratz doll look even less lifelike than it already does? Then again, Kylie Jenner has a Bratz doll, so really expect nothing nowadays, I guess. I don't know. I used to fuck with Bratz, and then, like, the entire fucking shit show of, like, the 2010s happened, and then Flaunt Your Fashion happened. And, like, they had, like, great models set up for, like, their fucking shorts that they did, where it's, like, parodies of, like, some movies that they did, like, I think, like, in 2022 or whenever the fuck that was. They could have used that. It's not like the Switch is that fucking awful. Like, you can run cutscenes. It's not that bad. But... The problem is, it's like, the game is just fucking boring. Like, it is the worst $30 that I ever fucking spent. And that was, like, when the game first came out, too, so there were no fucking reviews of it or anything. I was just like, oh shit, a new Bratz game. I haven't played a Bratz game since Bratz the movie came out. And then it's like, oh, okay, did you know they have a fairy one? Did you know they have Really Rock? Did you know they have, like, all these other ones? And I'm like... Well, you see, the problem is, it's literally just the same game, or they change too much so that it doesn't feel the same. At least in these, like, first three games, which were... Shit. Which were... Forever Diamonds, Rock Angels, and the movie. They all feel similar enough to each other to work, but they all have some differences where it's like, okay, this is fine by itself, and it has enough of a reference to, like, the older games that you can still play it. I remember playing a, ba <laughs> a Bratz game for months. The same game every day, some fucking how. I've secretly meant my match. <laughs> because that is a thousand percent same. It was... The movie. I remember this. It was the PS2 version of Bratz the movie, and I ended up playing the game so much that the disc was unrecognizable to the console. 
could never be played again. And I was like, why the fuck do I even like this game? Like, after a while, it got to the point where I was like, why do I even like this game? You literally get stuck in New York after you finish the game. Like, you can't go back to Stylesville or anything either. You just get stuck in New York. And then I played through the other two games, and I'm like, am I sure that I'm remembering correctly? Because I feel like now we get stuck here, and it's like, no, you get stuck in fucking New York. You cannot leave. But then you learn, like, oh, this is a plot to another fucking Bratz game, so they literally just copied and pasted it. But then in the other game, you're allowed to go back to Stylesville and then to all the other places that you are. So why the fuck do I get stuck in Bratz the movie, but then not in any of these other fucking games? <laughs> I hate it so much. It's so stupid. <laughs> Like, I feel like I understand, because it's, like, trying to, like, wean a kid, like, out of, like, playing the game. Like, it's like, oh, you're only allowed to be in one location. Guess you're kind of fucked now. It's like, no, I would still play and stuff. Like, I would still be in, like, the game for hours. Just, like, doing, like, figure skating mini game. We're gonna do something with a dog. Like, etc. Like, fashion show. It was, like, fucking crack. If you want to get a child addicted to a game fast, give them a Bratz game. And just watch their mind fucking melt. Because they're going to be like, We gotta play with the puppy again. <laughs> oh, he got ten points. Yay. <laughs> Stupid shit like that. Or I guess like now, I guess like the modern equivalent would be Animal Crossing. Since you can never really beat that game. Like truly Bratz games felt like games that you like, you quote unquote beat it. But you never really beat it. Because there was no actual end to the fucking game. It just kind of stopped. And then like you could just go and do whatever you wanted. Then again, you have to remember, you're listening to the same person who used to do Sonic Riders races to 99 laps. Oh, fuck. I did not jump enough. I used to do uh, Sonic Riders races to 99 laps just because I was fucking bored. So, I guess really don't believe me when I'm like, they should do this for your kids. No, don't do that shit. That's stupid. <laughs> uh, playing in a, a game long enough to get good. How does one get good? I'm supposed to get good. So the thing is, you kind of just learn certain, like, patterns as you're going along. So it's like, oh, I can go on this track. Oh, I have to move this thing to this area. Like, modern games aren't really like that, because it's like, unless you're playing, like, a MOBA, like, that's what it's called, like, a real-time action shooter, or, like, some shit like that, like, um, Fortnite Battle Pass, I shit out my ass. Like, you're playing shit like that. Why the fuck would you go into a wall? You fucking trollop. Why the hell would you walk into a wall? Anyways. Like, I feel like nowadays actual games don't rely on you to remember, like, certain shit. Which is a big problem. They kind of are just like, okay, you're just gonna play this. And if you remember stuff from the story, good for you. Um, we don't care. We're gonna sell the same thing next year. Cough, cough. The remakes of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Like, that's literally how it feels. Like, three was a fucking just... A, a fucking less than an hour? The game takes, like, an hour to an hour and a half, depending on if you're good or bad at the fucking COD series. Like, and then the story is, like, completely fucked. Like, they change shit. Like, that's not a fucking remake or a remaster. That's a fucking depression. That's exactly what that is. We're gonna make it so that... Uh, certain scenes don't happen because they're bad nowadays. I'm like, no, just do the fucking disclaimer that Looney Tunes does at the beginning of some of their older shorts where it's like, yeah, shit was different back in the day. We know. We're not changing our shit just because you want to be a little fucking pussy and not show your kid that Bugs Bunny used to look fabulous and fucking drag. Like, that's all we're gonna say. That's that. <laughs> like, modern games are like... Well, they get told that as we've learned, unfortunately, due to the Sweet Baby Ink thing. Um... Modern games are very boring, and they look very shallow. Like, that's the problem. Like, you're not allowed to have fun games like Sonic Riders anymore. That's why they killed it. <laughs> I thought I was on the final lap. Fuck! I want to go scratch my leg. Shit. <laughs> I 
Oh my god. Shut up, stomach. We're busy right now. My problem is, is that, like, I can't eat breakfast in the morning or else I get really sick. Because it's like, my stomach isn't ready to take in food. Which is why I'm happy that, you know, tea exists. Get off my ass. I saw you in the back there. Get the fuck off my ass. Thank you. Like, because otherwise I would. Because it's like, we have a fuck ton of cereal in the house. Just because we all like cereal and shit. And then I have, like, junk food that we could eat, too. It's just, if I fucking eat, I will want to die. <laughs> you know the thing about, like, the fucking blackberry citrus tea? You get very used to it, like, after two cups. So if you're drinking it cold, it's not that bad. Shit. <laughs> no! <laughs> I jumped at the wrong second. Fuck. <laughs> no! <laughs> We're gonna try to clutch. We're gonna try to clutch. I'm an eighth. <laughs> oh, that shit looks nasty. What the f- What? <laughs> okay. Imagine competitive Sonic Rack- Clumsy, it exists. Competitive Sonic Riders is a thing, they just don't really do it that much anymore. That's the main reason why DX was invented in the first place. Like, you can- I thought I just heard my phone going off. Like, you can connect this to the internet and stuff and apparently play online. Either that or I think that's Tournament Edition, I don't know if they separated the two. But there is, like, a version that you can- fuck, that you can get online and play with people on and everything, too. These motherfuckers keep sabotaging my jumps. There we go. Jesus Christ. Like, I can imagine that the competitive scene is very... restrictive. It's like, you can only boost this many times in a fucking lap because everyone's going fast in the first place, but I'm like, dude, the rubber banding in this game is fucking asinine. I'm not dealing with that shit. I learned how to do, like, full-on, like, full boost rounds. Like, you can't take that away from me right now, please. Like, I never saw, like, any competitive shit either. It was literally just like, okay, here's a match that we recorded. This isn't even an online match. That's live. So I was like, okay, so the scene must be pretty dead, right? But it can't be for them to completely, like, have an entire team to overhaul this kind of shit and be like... Oh, that's a- that's a disgusting- I didn't want to be in its ass. <laughs> I didn't want to look inside of a centipede's asshole today. <laughs> but yeah, the live scene of this game, like, kind of went 50-50. I, I don't know. I would have joined if I could have. It's just, at the time, I wasn't really... <sighs> Excuse me, mucus. I wasn't really proud of, like, how I could have, like, been playing, I guess, because I was so rusty. Like, I hadn't played in, like, um, six years. Damn you, Tails. Motherfucker. Like, I hadn't played in a while, like, because... Just like the copy of Bratz the movie, this game also decided to stop working because I had played it so much. So, you know, that really shows about, like, how much I loved playing this kind of shit. It's like, what do you mean you played, uh, Sonic Riders for 10 hours yesterday after you got home from school? Because, <laughs> like, we would go out to, like, play with friends and everything, because that's what you used to do back in the day. I'm joking. Believe me. I know that people still go out and play with their friends. I'm not stupid. It's like, huh, you kids don't understand how good we had it back in the day. No, they do. It's just you don't let your kids leave their fucking house. Trust me, kids still play and shit. Like, kids still have friends. It's just you gotta be a little bit more vigilant because, you know, predators do exist and everything like that. But then you remember, and a lot of people haven't remembered this shit yet, that shit used to exist back when we were kids and back when our parents were kids and shit like that. And 
This is gonna sound insensitive, so I'm sorry. Yeah, abductions happened, but that they happened to every fucking kid? No! <laughs> little, little Billy was on that milk carton for three fucking years. <laughs> he came back with a full head of facial hair and shit. <laughs> I saw something about the mall. Give me a second. I miss the mall we used to go to closed for years now. Well, the thing is, malls to a lot of, like, companies are seen as being, like, very irrelevant to have your stuff in a mall now, especially a store. Because it's like, you know what? Fuck if people are uh, employed. It's way easier for someone to go online and just buy your stuff online. Because a lot of people will be like, well, you know, I would have spent the money that I'm spending on shipping on gas. Even if it's a lot of fucking money. So they'll be like, oh yeah, no, it's no problem. I'm literally not losing any money by making this online purchase. And you think it's fucked. I've literally heard things like that from middle-aged women, which are like, well, you know, I was gonna go to Sally Hansen and get my nails done and like get a new shade of polish and everything like that. But you know what? Doing it at home is so much easier. It's like, is it? Is it easier? This is the stage that I was fucking practicing on for fucking four hours last night. To get the best fucking time. My best time last night was a minute and 31 seconds. So let's see how good we get at this time with actual enemies on the fucking stage. Let's go. Because I kept fucking restarting because I kept getting pissed off at myself. One. Start counting in the chat. One. The number one. Let's hope it's only the number one. I don't want to have to restart this fucking 15 times again. I was doing that shit listening to house music last night, my guy. Like, I don't want to have to do that again. We have to start playing assumptions. Show's over. I'm gonna want to die again. One. Fuck you, Storm. Alright, we're doing good so far. Nothing's fucked up yet. Let's hope the fuck it doesn't. 43 seconds, that's not bad. Oh god, that shake was harsh, fuck. I don't remember it doing that last time. The timing must be off on it again. This is not going nearly as bad as I thought it would, to be honest. Mom, they're quoting Snapcube in the chat. <laughs> One! <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Curve over that. The left. Nope. Oh, thank God. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I was gonna fucking fall off. That would have been a nightmare. One was all it fucking took! <laughs> I'm not doing as good as my score last night, but thank god it was only one. Oh my god. <laughs> you don't fucking understand. Last night- well, Not even last night, technically last afternoon was a fucking tragedy. And now for this one, you only have to hit it one. You only have to hit it once, and then you have to finish the race in first place. I like this. I like this change that they made. Because it makes it so that you only have to hit the Guardian once instead of having to deal with hitting it three times. So I don't really give a fuck that much. I thought I broke something last night by this. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, I only hit the Guardian one time. And he's not reappearing. Did I break it? <laughs> or at least that might be how that is. I don't know. Who knows? I might have fucking broken it last night. Also, a difference with this. Uh, you can actually gather rings in this version of the stage. You can't do that in the normal one. Okay, no, I just literally broke it last night. Okay, that's the problem. <laughs> I broke every 
anything last night? <laughs> that would have been so funny to fucking see. It's like streamer breaks Sonic Riders. Caps. No cap. On God. I'm fucking. Okay. So I literally just broke shit last night. That's great to know. I guess I was wrong about them fixing the worst part of the game, which is having to deal with the RNG of your friends plus this shit. Well, then again, right now it's just tails, so it's not that big of a deal. And left tap. I missed. <laughs> Local streamer is stupid. <laughs> Monkey doesn't wear any pants. There we go. Well done. You want to know what would be really fucked up if both of the fucking sets of figure arts come today, but they come from different services? We're done. We're done. I can't believe I fucking broke the game yesterday. That shit's fucking crazy. I wish I would have got that on camera. Thank you very much, Yuji Naka. Alright. Me personally, I could never. Why not? Like, the thing is, the game is like 50-50 uh, to get into sometimes. Because sometimes you have instances where it's like, oh, this game is way too difficult to get into. Let me get out of this since we're not playing that right now anymore. Ah, uh, yes. Then again, I do find massive bug in- I did find a massive bug in Mario Kart. Oh my god. What have you done? Get my cheese back on the table. What have you done? <laughs> what kind of thing did you find in Mario Kart? Let me disconnect this. I know, that's quick. That one's gonna be going up on the channel. Like, cause I was gonna do the other one, but then it just didn't want to process for some reason. So it's like... Seven. It's, like, really weird. Um, yeah, I don't know why. Like, I was putting... So I ended up getting, um, three videos up. It's the one that went up yesterday and the one that's going up today at noon. And for some reason, um, I also had the last Sonic Riders one that was on Easter going up as well. And for some reason, it decided to stay on uploading at 54%, even though it was much longer than that or it would have been. I was playing 200cc on my own on Sydney Sprint and flew straight into a wall. <laughs> I became a creepypasta. <laughs> it reminds me, no, no shit. It reminds me of when in like Sally EXE. You guys remember this fucking bootleg of a bootleg of a bullshit, right? Sally EXE, you're playing as cream, quote unquote playing as cream. And you're in a carnival stage, right? And she goes so fucking fast that she slams into a fucking wall of spikes. And that's literally what it reminded me of. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a fucking loser. <laughs> Mom, I can't go to school today. I'm afraid Sonic EXE is in the corner. You really think that you your fucking kids were doing that shit? Dude, I was doing that a month after I fucking learned about that fucking creepypasta. I was a dork. I was just like, I want to I wanna stay home from school. And she's not believing that I'm sick, so I'm going to be mortified. And my mom was just like, okay, fine, I'm going to work. <laughs> Flew straight into the wall. Gravity each day with me. How did I never need the doctor to tell me to leave? No! <laughs> no! That is the truth. Clumsy is a 28-year-old boomer. <laughs> And only recently started going to the doctor. And then there's me that's like, I don't trust them anymore. <laughs> like, I'm 26. I haven't trusted doctors to like, I mean, since like I gave birth. Because they were like telling me, it's like, oh yeah, no, you can go back and do stuff immediately. But then my actual OBGYN was like, no, I'm giving you six weeks. You're not even allowed to really be walking. And my school was like, okay, well, you can do at-home tutoring. The at-home tutoring was at the middle school. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I have to be here. There's no Wi-Fi, so I can't look up stuff if I need help. And the person's just like, look, if you need it, you can use the Wi-Fi on my computer. Which was even worse. 
Oh my god, it was so bad. Can't tell if the clumsy life predicted me or picked me or if I picked it. You and Clumsy since birth, you just figured it out at some point and then you're like, why is my name Clumsy Lamb? <laughs> you're not very silent anymore. You need to change your name again. <laughs> Let me see. I don't want to accidentally blow my ears out. Is this still on quiet? Perfect. Okay. That's good. That'll work. So, let me see. I'm going for an hour and 16 minutes. So the thing is, I would say, like, hey, let's go ahead and start playing Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, the problem with that game... And this is a big thing. Uh, the problem with that game is the full story takes about three hours. And I'm not sitting here for three hours and my stomach is going... Vroom. So, let's try to figure out something to do for, like... I'm gonna say 40 or 30. Do you guys want to go until uh 1.30, like an hour 30 minutes, or do you guys want to go until 2? Because if so, we gotta try and find some shit to do. <laughs> Sounds like autism! <laughs> that is a hell of a fucking state. Clumsy, you're autistic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that, like, everyone is at this point. Oh, you guys are mean. You guys are so mean. We're going until 2 hours. All right, fine. <laughs> it's not a problem. I'm like, oh, it's such a fucking issue. Like, no, it's not. It's fine. I don't have a second thing open. Why am I trying to pull this? All right, let's see what we can do. Has anyone been posting shit on DA? I mean, friends told me maybe. Can't say officially without a doctor telling me. You live in the US. You can say whatever you want. It's like, yeah, I have autism. <laughs> Holy Mandala contest. Oh yeah, dude, I forgot a Mandala was a fucking thing. Are there any other, uh, correspondence? Yes, except. Let me see, what the fuck is popping off on Twitter? I low-key want to play Sonic Adventure 2 again. It's fun. Zenless Zone Zeros, um... Thing finally fucking showed up in my recommended. When the fuck is the game even gonna fucking release? I thought it was like in like, um... May, right? Sign up for the amplifying test now, participate in the event, and win test qualifications. I did that, they didn't fucking pick me. <laughs> the learning curve is steep, but it can be quack- it can be conquered. What skills do you need to improve on as a VTuber slash a streamer? Oh, it's, um, it's literally just, like, them advertising their Twitch. Okay. I was cleaning my room and I found two Wii U's? We found Scott the Waz. <laughs> Alright, let me see PC view. I can actually turn this back on and shut off the game one. Okay, let me see. What's this type of character design called? Fuckable face. Look, there she is. Birdo. <laughs> no, fuck off. <laughs> oh. That? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> that, that simp material. I, I'd fuck that. Yes. <laughs> I haven't heard gushing over magical corals out so quite a few series, and one in particular is Free Run. Huh. This is literally clumsy about video games. When do I start getting good? Playtime, 5,000 hours. That's the fun part. You don't. Dead by Daylight? Fuck you. Minecraft? <laughs> Minecraft. Oh yeah, people are uh, simping over Charlie in a maid outfit again. <laughs> That's cute. Thank you for touching me so much. That was the 50th time. <laughs> My peanuts after jorking in it on any given day. <laughs> this is specifically made for Iron Mouse. <laughs> because of Simpsons- what is this? Why have Americans stopped this kind of anime?
Oh. The only games I have on Steam and the other place is Uno. And the other place is Uno and Slime Rancher. Barely touched it. You want to know what, uh... Let me get out of that. You want to know what fell recently be again? Days gone. I am afraid to play this fucking game to an audience. Because I don't know how to play it in general. Uh, Bell has tried teaching me a lot of stuff. How to play a lot of different kinds of games. Can't. Also, if you're wondering about this... <laughs> I really like Five Nights... I really like, um... FAPNAF, which is, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. The models are very cute. <laughs> they both cater to tits and ass. <laughs> what good has been on A Playbox recently? That's the question, because I barely ever fucking go over there. <laughs> I was actually working on um, some models before the stream. I have 13 notifications. <laughs> Not really, me, but. Me been knowing your desktop <laughs> of the past and good. Oh my god. They're not showing up. Show up, damn it. Fucking stop. Yeah, um, some of these are, um, okay, so this is Honkai Star Rail stuff. Um, really a lot of stuff that, uh, BYZ puts up over here. He also puts up on DA, so there's really no reason to get his stuff from over here, I feel, unfortunately. But I do. I recently also... Let me actually get to what I have been working on. And then there's me, who has an empty desktop. Not even the recycling box. Scammers must be wondering what's going on. How do you not have the recycling bin? What in the fuck have you been doing? It's like, I need it to look clean and pristine. I need it to look like no murderers have been here. Why, are you a murderer? Depends. Five nights in anime background poggers. <laughs> Settings? What the fuck? So let me go over this again. I am a game ripper. Uh, I've actually been ripping a set to go with a motion that Tofu from Sakai has ripped. And I was going to use this set from very early on in Project Sakai. So there's Shizuku. Well, actually, I think for the most part, they're ready for like simple stuff now. So let's load them up in MMD. So first we have Shizuku. So for this, semi-standard bones has not been added. There's an issue that needs to be fixed up there. Semi-standard bones has not been added. Uh, IK leg implementation has not been added. Obviously not an A pose. Obviously no Shadokai. So there's Shizuku. Fuck my stomach. Jesus. There's Minori. Uh, let's see. For Miku, I added Hopping Frills, which, since, like, More More Jumps is an actual pack, I might just do Miku separately, so that, like, no one's like, well, why is this with this set? That's stupid. Um, it also makes it so that it's like, oh, you have more stuff that you're putting out. Yes. You see, we also have, let me see here, we have Haruka... Which also has on the same outfit that Minori has. Basically, the green was to somewhat mesh in with Miku's. But the problem is, is that um, I'm now realizing that that's yellow and not green. <laughs> How in the fuck did you fuck up that badly, like, before that? <laughs> Like, the thing is, it still works. It's just, that's, like, the thing where it's, like, you know, you have to have it as a different set. <laughs> like, there's some, like, there's lime, there's teal. So, these two were done off the same one, since these two have the same size breast. So, in Project Sakai, 
what is needed to be looked at when you're ripping stuff is how large is a character's breast in the game? Which, yes, I know sounds weird, but that's how things are measured out for, like, which model gets assigned to a certain kind of person. So, for example, people like Luca, Mako, Mafuyu, they all have large breasts. People like Ichika... Uh, let's see here. So we have Ichika, Iri, On. They all have medium size. And then people like Shizuku, Shiho, Miku have small. And then there's only one person that has super small, which is Mizuki. Which I believe they're kind of phasing out now. I'm not entirely sure about that. But then for the men's, there's only one person that wears boys, which is Len. And looking at... Just looking at them like after ripping them and stuff like that... Uh, there's no difference between boys and men. So, literally, all you have to do is just rip men's ones, and you'll be fine. Like, there's- it's not hard. So, I'm not sure if- Does his motion require- I know his motion, I believe, requires a T-pose. I don't know if his motion requires the eye case to be off. Did I download it already or no? Did I not download Jump In? I don't know anything about model ripping, but this is true. I mean, about model ripping, but this is true, because if I'm doing that, then I don't want people to think I made the hungers bigger just because. So it is for this game. For Bang Dream, the other game that I rip for, and I'm the primary ripper for that game. For if people want to work on it, obviously through my DA, whatever, etc. Um, for that one, there is a slider for the chest. The funny thing, though, it does not just include the chest size. It also includes the accessory, so everything is separate. And then there's also the fact that increasing the size of the chest for some reason also increases the size of the arm a bit. And then it also include increases the size of the thigh. Which is very weird, because, like, mass on your chest does not equate to mass on your legs. Like, that's just weird. I don't get that. That's just weird. I have the Terra that illuminates the world. I don't think I have Jump In. Or is it even called Jump In? I don't fucking remember what the fuck it's called. I don't think I downloaded it. I downloaded I Am We Are. Um, I don't think I did. So in order to not break their rules, I have to do this technically, quote-unquote, privately. So give me a second. Come on, Discord, load. Are you kidding me? It, it's trying to load, but it just won't. Hold on. Okay, there we go. The topmost role for a user defines its color, obviously. These folders are in public. Private downloads, Project Sakai, Motions, and then I also want the stage. Then there's me who can't determine boob size as well and just makes a boob slider. <laughs> and just make a boob slider. <laughs> yeah, I don't have jumping over. Okay. I have everything else. Because I got Moto from a non ripper. Uh, color of Drops near New IG Idols Patchwork, uh, Patchwork Staccato and Newly uh, Happy Synthesizer from Tearless Hen. And I got Floss also from Non Ripper. Alright, I got it. I got it. <laughs> they, for some reason, save all their stuff as like a 7Z. Alright, let me see. I, I don't mind, like, how they have the bones set up. Normally, that doesn't really need to matter. Um, let me see. Also, here's something that I don't understand. We gotta stop crediting Craft Egg in doing anything with Project Sakai now, because the problem is they don't. It's just Sega and Colorful Palette. Craft Egg had things to do with them for a couple months while they were still starting up. Because Craft Egg is also the people that help with some stuff or sorry, helped, since they got fucking, you know, basically absorbed at this point by Bushy Road and a lot of other people went other places and stuff like that. Because the thing is, Craft Egg and Colorful Palette, these are the same thing. 
these are the same. There were members from Craft Egg that came over and became Colorful Palette. I keep forgetting that Sega owns Miku. It's hard to remember it when they don't put out any new games for a while. Oh yeah, besides Miku boxing, but, you know, I don't feel like boxing on the Switch. I feel like I'm accidentally gonna break something. Or it's gonna be like, you have Joy-Con Drift! Like, fuck off, Miku. <laughs> but you yeah, know, uh, you don't have to credit these two. And I hate when people do it because you're just adding more flavor text to have people quote-unquote credit. Craft Egg is gone. Completely. Craft Egg has been absorbed into Colorful Palette which was the separation into working on the Kai Colorful stage. And then the rest of them were absorbed into other games. Craft Egg itself was completely broken up. Really, I would have thought you remember some Sonic costume. Yeah. But like these, it's like... Spine 1. Should be parented to Spine, and Spine 2 should be parented to 1. Where in the fuck are you getting Spine 1 from? Also, what doesn't make sense to me... This is what doesn't make sense. So, a non-ripper is doing this fine, and a lot of other people are as well, are doing this fine to the point where we do not need to change the body of the model at all. We do not need to change how the bones are placed, and we do not need to change how the bones are parented to each other, because that's literally a fucking nightmare to do, especially if you are a novice that just wants to make videos and doesn't give a fuck about the internal workings of how a model moves, which is a lot of people in the MMDC, actually. Uh, the editing stuff, the game ripping stuff, all that kind of stuff. Uh, touching PMXE is like fucking wanting to kill yourself for a lot of MMDers. They don't do it. So... I used the wrong analogy, but same difference. It's basically like picking up dog shit when you ran out of bags. That's that. So, seeing this where it's like, we have requirements where you need certain bones named certain ways, you need them in certain positions, which is moving stuff around. Um, a lot of people aren't going to do this, and they're just going to say fuck you. However, uh, because I have gotten in trouble for criticizing people about how they're doing stuff and commenting on it, not even a criticization at the time, just commenting on how stupid it was, um... And I did it in the fucking description of a post as well. Like, I didn't even say it. I was just like, I'm typing it out. Like, that's it. And then they got mad and the entire community was like, she's nothing but a piece of shit, etc. Like, honestly, that's the main reason why I don't have correspondence with... Um, what the fuck is his name? How the fuck do I forget his name right now? Jesus Christ. Into the World. His name is Into the World. And I don't really have any association with him. Like, he was my friend on, um, Discord. Because he was, like, still trying to be nice. Gate the bridge and everything like that. And I was just like... The problem is, is that... Your... Uh, your... Conspirating partner, Kane Lumino, where all your stuff is in their adjoining server to yours, they're not even in your server. Um, this person has harassed me and sent people to say awful things to me and stuff like this, and were part of the massive, like, plethora of things that made me delete my old channel. I'm not going to want to talk to you if you're still corresponding with this person. And they correspond with other people too. But the problem is, like I said before, all of their downloads are in this partnered into the world Kane Lumino server, which is Kane Lumino's server. I'm just not dealing with that shit. I'm not. Like, I brought up a hypothetical before how, because it's like, this was what people were talking about. This was years ago. How these two people might be the same person because they work on a lot of shit together. And it's a lot of compound stuff where it's like one person, quote unquote person, is working on the facials and the camera, and then one person is working on ripping the motion, that kind of stuff. Well, they immediately, not into the world, but Kane Lumino immediately took it as I was making fun of them and I was being disrespectful. And I'm like, no, it's a hypothetical that people in your fucking community have. Like, it's not something that I'm saying like, oh, this is what I truly think. No, you can go fuck yourself. I don't care. Like, I just want to be able to make stuff and not have shit look like garbage. Then, then also, 
any time that they at the time were ripping a motion, it looked like shit. So it's like, I'm kind of allowed to say that. It's like, look, you're making my video look like trash. There's a reason why no one's using your stuff. That's that. Like, I'm allowed to have fucking opinions. This is what that one thing, like, at the end of, like, the I'm coming back video was about. If you don't have opinions, how the fuck are people gonna know to fix their shit? Genuine question. Because that's how I fixed my stuff. That one guy that was ripping the Bang Dream stuff literally came at me violently and was like, Oh, you truly support this. We're gonna take over all your pages. We're gonna do all this fuck shit, etc. And I was like, why? There's no reason for you to do this shit. It's stupid. Luckily, the MMD wiki actually had a lot of good people running their stuff, but still, the fact that that happened in the first place was really dumb. I didn't see anywhere where this has to be in a T-pose. Okay, so you literally just run these as is. All right. Why is that like that? What in the fuck is... Oh, I know what happened. I believe I know what happened with this. So I will work on these later since I'm fucking starving and I need to stop streaming for a bit. But the problem with what happened here is some things are parented incorrectly or like the wording of stuff is wrong. Because the bones here, and I could probably show you on it. Let me pull up... Well, Shizuku's already open, so let me pull hers up now. Open. I say this all the time, but I'll say it again. Opinions went from recommendations of thoughts to apparently insults. Oh no, Deadass thought I was fucking harassing their entire community because I had a comment. Yeah, see, this is technically parented to negative one, where it should be parented to the hip, which is two. I'm gonna do that for every single one of those. Because the reason why Haruka and Minori, blue hair and redhead, don't need that fix, too, is because those bones were the proper bones that were actually on the model when it got ripped. Whereas for skirts, whenever I do stuff with skirts, I always bring in... What is it called? I always bring in the PMX skirt plugin because it's just easier to work with and you don't have to deal with a lot of shit that you have to deal with when you're doing stuff with uh, the native bones that come from stuff. It's just if it's like something like a flap, like do it really quick. It's not a problem. Save. And let me load in Ivy really quick to show you guys that. Ta-da! Now it properly moves with the body. Yay! Anyways, yeah, that's good that that actually works like that. I could actually do the video now. The only problem is I'm not doing videos right now because I still have videos backed up till August. No shit. Hold on a fucking second. No, I'll do it on a different one. Hold on. Because that doesn't cut out the music if you uh do it on a second one. <laughs> what the f The king of glancing. <laughs> It has 62, that's great. Oh shit, there's a new Charlotte video out. Okay. Alright, let me see. YouTube Studio. So the only thing that I don't have for a bit, like for a long while out, are shorts. I only have until the 10th, and I have to make more. Uh, September 2nd. I have videos made until September 2nd. <laughs> These go out every four days on the B-Side channel. <laughs> and like, just... Like... <laughs> I, like, I didn't mean to have until the 2nd. It just kind of happened. But... Yeah, I don't have to worry about actually making content for that for like a good amount of time. <laughs> Shorts, on the other hand, are like, hey, you gotta make more. Which... For a lot of things, to be honest, like, if you're doing, like, model showcases, which I should be doing for other stuff and stuff like that, it's very easy. It's just, like, take a small bit of this one motion, put the model, I mean, put it on the model. Fanta. The bitch got Fanta. Let's go. Anyways, uh, literally just pick, mo uh, pick model, pick motion, 
pick a small segment out of it, uh, put your shit in 1080 by 1920, done. I was also contemplating on this one, like, not having, like, effects on it and shit, but it makes it look so much better. I have been cursed to put effects on all my videos now. <laughs> that one's not doing that bad. I have no creativity to even upload anything new. You don't understand, a lot of those weren't new. A lot of those were from the old channel. A lot of those were from here. <laughs> oh, it was crazy. You know, I hope you pound Fanta in the next stream. Um, let me see. So here's the thing. Uh, my mom actually... Let me go ahead and fix my thing because it has me in neutral facing the left. There we go. Girl, I know. Like, it's it's insane how much shit was over here. Because it was, um, I believe, like, a week. Possibly a week or more moving stuff over, actually. And not just that. Also making sure that, like, certain stuff was over on TikTok... Making sure that certain stuff was over on Instagram. It, it was crazy. Like, my stuff actually does really well over on Instagram, to be honest. I should remember which I liked as a kid. Fanta or Sunkist. Mom would flip-flop, so I for gore. Well, let me see. Did you like Fanta, Sunkist, or did you like um, Crush? Because you also gotta add that in there, too, with the bounty of orange sodas. Um, let me see. Belle is trying to find Haritos. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. Jaritos. Or Jaritos. Um, it's a Spanish soda. But the problem is, I don't know if it's the one that I found. Or if it's another one. Oh no, my voice just cracked. I'm becoming a man! Oh. Take my breast away, I'm ready. Fuck. Sun kiss is so ass! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It tastes like a butthole. <laughs> Fanta and Crush clear zero difficulty. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, um, let me see. Fanta for life. Crush wasn't a thing in our family. It was just those two. Oh. So you basically had to deal with Tasty or like a week of gross. Or I guess like a month. Uh, how quickly does it take people to go through soda? Like, I guess, like, back in the day versus now. Before, it used to be a thing where it's, like, you just drink it. And it's, like, okay, we drink this mainly only with meals. Or it's, like, if there's, like, a barbecue or, like, like maybe, like, a hot summer day or whatever. But nowadays, it's, like, well, it's the third in the month. I'm gonna crush an entire fucking 24-pack of Mountain Dew. <laughs> like, <laughs> I gotta put a straw on it. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, me just going in and being like... <laughs> My helicopter goes... <laughs> oh my god. Um, let me see. Yeah, like, for the most part, when we were coming up... Oh, ho, ho, ho. I remember the beer can chicken. So, I remember things from my childhood very sporadically. A for accuracy, at least. Very true. Anyways, I remember when we were kids, um, my brother and I, we would watch our dad make beer can chicken. So if you don't know what that is, it's literally you take a medium-sized chicken, I believe it's either a small or a medium, and you unravel it from its packaging, and you set up the grill and everything to grill it up and everything like that. Well, the flavor comes from a beer. So what are you supposed to do with that beer, ladies and germs? What do you do with that beer? You shove it up its fucking ass. And that's also what it stands on while it's grilling. <laughs> you guys wonder why I'm weird? My dad used to do stupid shit like that. It, it tasted good. And, like, obviously, it's, like, the entire thing of, like, if you burn off the alcohol, it's not alcoholic and shit like that. So that makes sense. But it's, like, it was some of the better tasting chicken. But it's, like, trying to do it now, it's, like, well, we don't have access to a grill. We only have access to a stove and an oven. And Fel was literally, like, babe, I would cook so much if we had a grill. I'm, like, well, we do. He's, like, I don't want that thing. It's probably infested with shit. 
Because it's literally a girl that we had when my mom's stalker was living in the house and shit. Or, I guess technically now we can call him the squatter. Oh, I have an awful uh, thing about that. I'm sorry that I keep jumping around. I mean, what dad isn't weird? Coming from a person who doesn't know their dad much. Eh, Fel's kind of weird. He has a weird way of parenting. I will say this much. This is the only time that I ever really call him out on parenting is like when his like grounding sentences go out because it's like... So you guys remember like in the cheese video where it's like... It's I think it's still like somewhat at the end. It's like the second to last video in the compilation of cheese. Um, Bell ends up throwing another thing of baby bell at my at my face. And I'm like, we're gonna eat all of this before the kid even gets a chance to. And he goes, the child is grounded. She does not get cheese. And that grounding was supposed to be for over two weeks. So she literally, like, chewed on a button that was on... Like, you know, like those, um, press on, uh, gem button things that they have on, like, some girls' clothes. Uh, she was chewing on one of those. And I told my mom about it. And she goes... Well, back in the day, because you used to do that kind of stuff a lot too, like you would eat your hair, like she called, basically like she like made like a full level of like call out post. And she was like, we well, used to do a lot of weird stuff too. Because like, remember you used to eat your uh, erasers, just dead ass, just like the list of, you used to eat this, you used to eat that, you used to chew on this kind of stuff, you used to chew on pens until they'd explode in your mouth. Yes, I know, okay? I used to be weird and gross. What do you got to say about the kid? Well, um, when we would go to the doctors and tell them what was wrong, uh, back in the day, they used to say that you were fine, and if you were chewing on stuff like that, it just meant, quote-unquote, something was missing. And I go, Mom, that is the dumbest shit I think I've ever fucking heard. <laughs> So you mean she's autistic? And she goes, well, technically no, but maybe yes. I'm like, mom, I used to do that shit and I'm autistic. She's like, well, you can't compound what you are to what your daughter is. I'm like, well, technically the doctor has kind of floated around that she is. And then I also explained to the doctor the last time we went, this wasn't even like this year, this was at some time like in the middle of last year, that... Oh yeah, she does like kind of like weird jitters and stuff. Like she'll like shake her fist and like clench her teeth and do weird shit like that. But it's not like she's trying to hurt herself or anything else. She just gets like really weird. And I was like, it's kind of violent, don't you think? And he's like, no, that's normal for autistic children. I'm like, so you're gonna test her, right? Not right now. Like, why not right now? Dude, she's comprehensive enough to be able to fucking talk to you guys. Like, fucking do the test. And again, you have to remember, it took until I was, like, in my 20s for them to properly diagnose me with autism. So, I don't trust these doctors with shit. <laughs> I remember visiting a family, I'm a friend's family, and the kid's sister plays shit on a Lego. <laughs> Ew. There are gonna be a lot of clips from this one, because it's just rapid-fire bullshit. <laughs> so, about poop. Um, my brother came over on, I was about to say Halloween or Nor'easter, that's not what the fuck it's called. I remember vividly eating my paper bags because I was hungry in elementary school. I used to just straight up eat paper. Like, I would just straight up be like, mm, I'm kind of bored writing notes, I'm gonna eat some paper. And I would obviously do it like sneakily where you like hide in your sleeve. It took a lot to get that out because I was still doing that by the time I was a teenager and shit too. Like, it's bad. And I wasn't even hungry. Favorite paper. Oh shit. I never had the proper tan the proper chance to try an official five star because the one five star notebook I had was a hand me down in um workshop class. But I would say Oh no, it's definitely not that kind. I have a notebook literally right next to me that's like it could be this. Nope. Ugh, fuck. The best kind for chewing is definitely construction. I'm not telling you guys to go and do this, by the way. We're just, like, brainstorming some shit up from my fucking head. I would say the generic kind that you get from Walmart. 
with school supplies. It has to specifically be school supply season or it just does not feel right to get a composition notebook or anything like that. Specifically composition, because the thing is a composition notebook, the pages are a little bit thicker. <laughs> the cardboard they make fry boxes out of was so delicious until I grew brain cells. Well, the thing is, the wax is what keeps you going, because it's like, ah, the shit tastes so fucking... Why does it still taste like fries? Like, <laughs> it keeps the flavor. This one's going in the autism collection. <laughs> How'd you know this VTuber was for you? She's just like me for real. She used to eat cardboard and paper. <laughs> you see boxes. I literally had like full-on boxes that just had bites and shit out of them. My mom was like, Allison, what's this? I was like, I don't know. I think a dog did it. Allison, we don't have a dog. <laughs> we don't have a dog. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe one came in through the window. I don't know. <laughs> Stupid little five-year-old. A doggy came in through the window. Well, you know, you would have been screaming and crying if that happened, you little bitch. <laughs> um, trying to remember the things I did as a kid, but can't remember. Clumsy is secretly my mother? Like, that that's scary. Because the thing is, my mom doesn't remember stuff very clearly. And then she also hit me with the, oh yeah, I don't remember people that I went to high school with. And I'm like, mom, you're 58. You're not gonna remember that kind of shit. <laughs> like, hell, I'm 26 and I don't remember every single fucking person that I went to high school with. I think I remember like five. And it was because one decided to date my husband when she was dating another guy, one uh, put out a quote-unquote hit on me from their friends on graduation day. So, of course, I remember her stupid, disgusting, fuggly face. Um, let's see. I have two that at some point were considered to be my kids, what is it, like, godmothers or whatever, but then, like, I fell out with them. I had a friend who I was really only friends with because I liked uh, her ex, but then kind of liked her as well. Her sister was a bit annoying, though. Uh, of course, fell. And let me see. And then also a guy that I didn't realize was even still around because I had met his ex who uh, worked at the same store that I did when I was still working. So yeah, very small amount. I also remember, like, my teachers and stuff, too, at, like, to some point. I promise, I can't remember my favorite teacher's name, but I remember my teacher's name from when I was in fifth grade because his name was Mr. Toplift, and my stupid autistic brain was like, oh yeah, Toplift, I bet he gets all the bitches, and I'm like, are you fucking stupid? <laughs> Why are you calling him Mr. Toplift? Stop. Oh yeah, he also did some goofy-ass shit whenever they were like, because uh, back in the day it was like, uh, bring in box tops and you'll get shit for your school. Well, he would do box tops, box tops, get in your box tops. And when he did the last one, he would kick a desk and everyone would go fucking crazy in the classroom. And I was just kind of like, oh, I feel like that's domestic violence help. I, I got scared and I, I freaked out. And then that's kind of how like the, like that part of like, the teachers people and the principal and stuff like that were like, oh, this child is from a damaged home. <laughs> oh, it was awful. <laughs> okay, that one ended. So this one's an hour and 13. Okay. Maybe gravity did a job on my head. <laughs> your brain is now in your ass. Um, I'm surprised I even remember you. <laughs> Come on, Ice King, you gotta fucking remember. <laughs> Please. Come on, Simon. <laughs> fucking Garfunkel, come on. How did we meet again? Um. Fuck, how was that? <sighs> like I said, like, it, it's been a while with certain people. Like, certain friends and stuff, it's just kind of like, yeah, we're friends. I don't care about, like, how long it was. And other ones, it's like, it was on this exact day, this exact month, I was doing this thing, we were fucking around, etc. Like, we were just kind of like in the same kind of community, I guess. I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> yes, 
for once both parties forgot. Will you forget, Clumsy? I have early onset dementia. I'm gonna forget stuff. The fact that I still remember so much is very unfortunate considering, like, like I said, the doctor might be a fucking kook. It might not even be onset, but the problem is, is that, like, the fact that I trusted him makes my memories even worse. Because <laughs> who knows, that motherfucker could have placebo my ass and been like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make this bitch think that she has early onset dementia so she keeps coming back. <laughs> but no, I do have issues with, like, memory loss and stuff as well, so... And they caught it very early on, so they might be able to actually help with it and stuff. My head is wrong again. Sorry. They might be able to actually help with it and stuff, hopefully. But the idiot basically was like, oh yeah, by the time you're 40, you're probably going to be going into dementia. I'm like, God damn it. Well, I guess at least it's good that I have a kid now and that I didn't wait to have a kid until I was 30. <coughs> Excuse me. I keep forgetting that I have tea on the table. In my case, I think I only remember if I care, I think. Still need brain scans. <laughs> I accidentally, like, the thing is, I accidentally squeak when I hiccup. But sometimes it gets really bad to the point where it sounds like a pig squealing. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to start hiccuping now, please don't. Because it's like a combination of like an actual hiccup, the squeal, and the squeak. Perfect cow? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not a cow! Pick, 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 pick. <laughs> oh wow holy shit that actually passed how did you guys do that it's an hour 58 how the hell did you guys do that Oh my god, no, you know what it's giving me? It's giving me, like, flashbacks of when we were, like, all in the Discord. This was, like, literally the day before stream started again. We were all in the Discord. I talked about this before. And literally five hours passed. Because <laughs> we were just talking and doing shit. And it's like, I will just sometimes forget about that. It was an actual squeal. I told you! <laughs> it sucks. Today's class is learning the sounds animal makes. The cheese makes this sound. I can't catch it on uh, there. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hey, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I'm going to, uh... Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> it was just my cheek. I didn't do anything weird, I promise. I can make that noise by, like, pulling on the side of my cheek, putting a little bit of moisture in my mouth, and just going, like... <laughs> it shakes the head, too! <laughs> I love that. It's so great. <laughs> Fully artist over here. Oh, yeah, um... I have a question. Do you think I should wait for the other two figure arts to come in before I pull these two out? Or do you think I should just pose these two now? Because I don't know how long it's going to take for Passion and Peach to get here. And I really don't mind if they stay in their boxes right now. It's just, it's kind of like a thing where it's like, absolutely no clue. See, that's why I'm like, I'm like, same. Because the problem is, it's like, I already, uh... Redid the background, so I don't have to worry about, like, when to do that and everything. But... I really don't know. Because, like, there's a part of me that's like, We can put it up now, that'd be really cool. But then it's like, yeah, but they're lonely. <laughs> they're lonely! <laughs> Your figure arts are gonna get really lonely without their leader and their six ranger. Like... <laughs> but then it's like, oh yeah, but Twinkle's up there by herself. I'm like, so? Her members are fucking expensive. I feel like 
berry and pine fits as a two set by itself i mean the set does sound full set to sound nice the thing is it's confirmed that they're coming it's just i don't know when they're going to be here same with passion and peach you spelled her name wrong it's p-a-s-s-i-o-n you big meanie you spell a fucking cure cushion over here <laughs> Oh my god. Like, have you guys seen, um... So for people who keep up with Precure stuff, have you guys seen, uh, Travi's, uh, current progress on Cure Wonderful? It's actually really good. It's not gonna be in my watch. Oh god, my watch is stacked. Oh my god. I forgot about that. Post. I haven't cleared it out. So this is Whip 5. Look at how pretty she is! He does such good fucking work. I love his work so much. Literally took the entire day to finish her hair. I think it was totally worth it. I really tried to make the asymmetrical shape work, which he did so well. This literally looks like it's right out of the ED. This is fantastic. I wish I could do shit like this. Right now, the upper echelon of Precure MMDers are... Obviously, Hutari Wap can't fucking be beat. Hutari Wap is, like, so fucking hard to beat on stuff, to be honest. But at the same time, it's, like, in the distributable range of shit that people are putting out. It's Miju, Miju Mara number one, and v Travison. Like, us editors, we try to get up, like, as high as we can. But with, like, just straight up just putting shit together. Chef's kiss. Fan-fucking-tastic. I love it so much. I do. I love it so much. I wish I could fucking model stuff, because I would have honestly have done, um, what is it called? So I had a while ago where I was working on the Topaz style from a Hot Sky Precure, and I got to the point where I had just done their hair, and I was like, okay, uh, time to edit together some outfits. I could not find what I was looking for, and now I'm kind of just like, well, I have the power of V-Roid on my side now. Do I want to try and, um, do stuff like that? Nope, I don't feel like it. <laughs> it's too much. Like, I saw the trauma that, uh, fucking Blue went through. Blue is also fantastic. Uh, I think genuinely... You can't compare shit that comes out of v Studio with Koikatsu at all. Koikatsu, like, the people who do, like, the Precure MMD... Or, not MMD, sorry. The Precure modeling stuff are there. Great. Uh, Baru K, I would say, is one of the, uh, top three right now when it comes to a uh, V-Roid conversion for Precure stuff, because they're also doing civilian models, which I think is great. Because that used to be a thing that just was not a thing in the Precure MMDC. It was, you have a cure, and maybe, just maybe, if you look hard enough, you might be able to find a civilian form. But now it's just like, here it is. Yeah, it was easy. Here it is. <laughs> like, they've already done all of the visible ones for... Uh, wonderful Precure, which is Komugi, Komugi, Aroha, and I don't remember her name. I think it's- is it Sayu? No, it's not Sayu. I don't remember her name, but it's who Cure Lillian is their civilian form. Okay, I, uh, I think we're done. I will get more clips out. I just need to work a little bit. So today I may be going to the store, because obviously, like, I didn't get to talk about that really. It's like basically a uh, TDLR on that since I skipped that entire thing. Since it's break for the kids, it's also break for my mom since obviously bus aid. No shit, she works with the schools. Um, We basically have any time to go to the store this week and there are some good deals on stuff at the stores and stuff. So mom said we can go wherever we need to go. It's just we have to bring the kid back to the house first since I won't lie, I know that for a lot of kids, like, oh, going to the store with mom and dad was the best thing in the world, it was so fun. This child is fucking greedy, because she'll be like, I want one thing from the store every time we go, and it'll be fucking expensive, and I'm like, I'm not doing this shit, just stay the fuck home. Plus, it also makes things, like, a lot easier, and it also gives her, like, the feeling of responsibility of being able to stay home alone, even if she isn't, because, you know, Fel is still here. So... Like, it's, it's a good thing to be able to instill that in her so early on. Which, I mean, technically, 
compared to now, it's early on. But it's like compared to back in the day, it's like when we were like five, we would be staying home by ourselves because, you know, we, we had a negligible father. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. People should not shop with me. I get lost easily. Trips like <laughs> take an hour. You would be pissed off because I would force you to stay to the cart. I'd be like, okay, um, you're staying to the cart. You're going to be able to follow me because I have a big fat ass. Follow me. <laughs> like, the only thing that sucks now is it's like mom has to walk so much slower because of her leg problem. Her knee is fine now. Putting any pressure on her leg is fine. The only problem is it's like apparently now it's the back of her leg, like where it um, folds in hurts now. I want to be distracted by the displays. The only ones we have around here are like bread. Um, some discounts for shit that didn't sell. Soda. Oh shit, no, I should go to Walmart. They have the new Baja Blast out, apparently. Hold on. I get out of Cure Wonderful Whip. So they apparently have these two kinds out. This is from the Food Network. Mountain Dew releases two new Baja Blast flavors. Or sorry, Baja flavors. The original Baja Blast is celebrating its 20th anniversary. Laguna Lemonade. Mountain Dew with a blast of natural and artificial mango lemonade flavor. So the problem is I might want to like only try this. Because I don't like mangoes very much. But trying it was like still important. And Baja Point Break Punch. Dew with a blast of natural and artificial tropical punch flavor. Uh, I looked... Yesterday, obviously, like, I was looking for a picture of a can of Mountain Dew, so I obviously got tracked into looking at other stuff as well. And I saw, like, um, you know, when you're, like, going through images and, like, Google search and stuff, at the top, they'll show you, like, you can buy this because it's a product. And sometimes they'll show Walmart. Walmarts had a pickup option. So there was a chance that those could be there. And damn it, I somewhat want to take the chance. <laughs> Besides, I have to go shopping for like other stuff anyways. He ran out of drinks. <laughs> like, he's gonna Fellow's gonna end up drinking all the Hawaiian punch in the house, and that makes me really sad. <laughs> oh god, my fucking nose. If it wasn't for my mom, I'd be walking everywhere to help stimulate myself, honestly. Nowadays, I prefer some Korean soda. Ooh. I gotta get like back into Mexican sodas. Apparently, the reason why Fel wants to find that fucking one orange soda so much is because it's not made with normal sugar. It's made with cane sugar. And he was like, it was one of the best sodas I'd ever had. The only problem is I can't fucking find it. Or I did, and I don't know, like, if he was talking about mandarin oranges or just normal oranges. Shit. I should probably just be like, hey, okay, uh, mandarin orange, I hope this is what you want. And if he is, maybe I might get... Uh, maybe I might get some snuggles. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna get cuddled. <laughs> I got- f I flung myself into the wall and I broke my neck. Oops. Oh! Uh, that's what I was gonna say a while ago. Uh, speaking of my mom's stalker, uh, we went out yesterday because I had to go and put money on my card. Which, uh, yes, the DA thing did end up uh, finally going back through again. I did have to pay them $79 regardless because uh, I talked to two different people about it who made the decision about the money. And they were like, oh yeah, it's a split decision. You see, uh, I said yes, and this other person saying no, and that DA is in the right. So regardless, uh, for some reason, you have to pay back the money. So I'm like, all right, well, I have 100 from um, helping out my mom with stuff. So I'm just going to put that on the card. Went to go and do that. And then went to Walmart to go and get a couple things. Uh, we went to Walmart and we ended up seeing her stalker. He looked very gaunt in the face, apparently. I did not look at him because I'm like, I just want to focus on getting stuff and getting out. Because the only reason we went was to go and get her a straight talk card. And then also we picked up the kids some movies. We got her a six pack of Nickelodeon movies. And then we also picked her up a DVD of... The first and second Sonic the Hedgehog movies. Because she didn't have those at her house. And the kid really liked them. Like, that would be... Honestly, the Sonic movies were the thing that the kid watched the most on Paramount+. Plus. But I'm like, 
Yo, this is getting fucking expensive just for two movies. <laughs> they also have, like, the full Jackass collection, too, though. Oh, no. <laughs> My age is catching up with me. <laughs> I gotta smoke. Shit. I gotta get myself another vape. Because my problem isn't... You know, the thing is, like, when I start talking like this and I start talking about vaping, people are gonna be like, you need to stop. But it's like... <laughs> this isn't... Like, this isn't vape voice or anything. Like, this isn't my smoking voice that happens when it clutches like that. It's because my my mouth isn't moisturized and it immediately, like, starts leaking back into my throat. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, apparently... Um, her stalker ended up looking at her multiple times while we were waiting in line. And it was because we were stuck behind this one woman who, um, for some reason didn't understand that some stuff wasn't on sale. Like, it wasn't actively looking at the prices of stuff and everything. And the only reason why we had to go into a, you know, a checkout lane instead of, like, Express was because we had a straight talk card. And we don't know if you can go through, like, the checkout lanes, like, the self-checkout lanes yourself. But, like, when you have that. But just in case, uh, we just end up going through, like, normal help checkout instead. My brain has just decided to be like, oh, derf. <laughs> and she said, he just kept fucking looking at me. I'm like, that's gross. Because he, like, basically, you know how Santa Claus looks, right? Can you imagine Santa, Cla Santa Claus fat and on crack? And that's what this guy looks like. <laughs> he also apparently looks like he has cancer, but then he's still fat. Like, it's really weird. So, yeah, my mom really doesn't like him. The fact that, like, we saw him in the first place. And I go, why were you being nice to him? Like, why'd you say hello and everything? And she goes... So for my job, if I am not nice out in public, for some reason word gets around and you end up getting penalized at work. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I forget we talked about, um, let me see, the new, uh, visited the new vape shop nearby, guy, guy was super nice. Did I know what I was looking at? No. <laughs> I still gotta go to the bars in town, but I am honestly, like, because anytime I've gotten vapes, it's always been from friends that have went in and gone to get them. And then I'm like, I don't like the flavor. Do you want it? I'm like, sure. Um, the problem is we have a couple vape shops around us. I'm super nervous to go in. What kind of job does that? Public work. You're working with kids all the time. Um, she is a bus aide. And it, for some reason, if you're working like that with the public, you have to be nice in public. So that's why anytime someone goes hello, she always says hello back. She tries to hold proper conversation. It's weird and confusing. Because, like, there have been people at that job who have been rude and disrespectful out in public and then gotten severely penalized and even fired because, you know, you have to put on a... It's not goody two-shoes. But I guess technically, like, a false face when you're working that kind of job, unfortunately. It really sucks. Uh, did give me the first look of how old are you because I'm but used to it right now. I never vape before and it's funny how I'm one of the only people out of my friends who doesn't i would say don't if you don't already have like smoking withdrawal or whatever because that's technically what vaping was supposed to be set for is like this is a transition of getting out of smoking cigarettes and then becoming clean instead of going cold turkey i would say don't there's really no benefits to it, to be honest. So I literally only do it because, like, I, I mean, like I'm, I'm fucking, I'm a dick. I'm like, I thought it was cool blowing smoke out of my fucking face, okay? <laughs> like, I'm that loser that, like, when it's cold outside, does the big, like, you know what I mean? So it's cool to be able to do that with smoke, and then it's like the flavor and everything. And I'm like, I smoke weed in the first place. But I would say to people who just don't smoke, don't do it. Because it's, it's a bad habit to try to kick. Like, Fel was like, you might be going through nicotine withdrawal. I'm like, no. I don't have an addiction. I don't do it that much. I did ask Lied and was like, oh yeah, I've been doing this for the last couple months. Not really. It's been like a couple weeks, maybe. Maybe a couple days. Because the last one that my friend gave me was like one that was like Arctic Chill. 
It was like, basically it was like feeling the feeling of gum in your mouth. And I was like, oh, okay, let me try that. And I did. And it not only did it make me feel very cold because it like had like some alter effects as well in it for some fucking reason. Um, it, it made me want to die because the smell that was coming from my mouth made me want to, made me want to just rip out all my teeth. <laughs> Gen Zers in their 20 going, oh my God, my hair is graying. When's it going to start? I don't really mind. Like, here's the thing. I've been dyeing my hair since I've been like 13. I'm surprised my hair has not started graying yet. That will be a thing where it's like, oh, that's cool. I want to try and make my whole head gray now. And hopefully I'm not a dark hair gray. I'm a light hair gray. Like, that's what I want. But of course, once you start graying, it's kind of difficult to take care of stuff. My mom uh, deals with it very well because um, she's actually started using stronger hair dye. But at the same time, like when her gray comes in, it's a blend between light and dark on the top to bottom of her head. So it actually looks really nice when it starts coming in. It's just she doesn't like it. She'd rather be blonde. So I'm like, oh, OK, we'll do it anyways. I don't really mind. Wants to dye my hair, but too much upkeep. Eh. Really depends on what you're getting, to be honest. Like, do you want to dye your hair a fun color? Or do you want to dye your hair, like, neutral? Well, I guess neutral wouldn't be the word, right? You know, neutral. Like, blonde, brown, etc. I want to dye my hair, but people might think I'm gay. <laughs> I want to dye my hair pink. Nut, people might think I'm gay. <laughs> nut. 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 <laughs> like, the thing is, I think, like, nowadays, it's, like, way more common for people to dye their hair literally any color than it is to stay, um, I guess, like, a static neutral color. But the thing is, well, it's, like, it really depends on your locale, too, if you, uh, can do that and not be looked at as, like, a certain way. Because around here, it's like, I guess it's like 50-50 of it somewhat is like, what the fuck would you consider it as? I guess it's suburban. I don't really know. Um, It's definitely not remote. God, no. Where it's like, somewhat of it is like farming shit, but then another part of it is like more like city. And then as you go out, like we have like a town, etc. Um, you can dye your hair whatever color you want, and no one's gonna say anything. But, yeah, like, if you... I don't really know how else to explain it. I guess it's not judgmental, as long as you're not a homeless piece of shit. But then again, like, a lot of people in town aren't homeless because they don't stay around here. They literally just migrate somewhere else. Like, I try to. <laughs> Any tats, though? No. The jungle aesthetic is a lie. I am bald. I <laughs> uh, was never interested in dyeing hair. Now growing it out, though, haven't cut it in four years. I am going on two. Or am I? Hold on. Did I pass two years? Hold on. I cut my hair in August. I cut it August 15th of, I believe it was... What is that noise? It sounds like there's a scratching noise. Hold on. Okay, so I found out what it is. Let me pop myself back in and then F7 myself. Ugh. Okay, I found out what the noise is. We are currently in an area right now where we might be having um, more emergency alerts go out because apparently until the 5th, we are under a severe... Th not thunderstorm, sorry, a severe weather watch because there is a chance that we could get at some point seven inches of snow. And then it retracted that statement and said a possibility of five to 10 inches of snow. 
But right now it's raining and it's at an angle where it's literally hitting against the fucking windows. So I was like, what is that? Because I thought it was like the cat scratching at something again. I got really panicked about that. But yeah, no, I don't think I've cut my hair since like... August of 2022. So it's been one and a half years. But it's been growing out really nice. We had to cut the kids hair last year due to like a lice problem. And her hair has been growing back very nicely as well. Like, as, like, a year of growth, though, getting close to it, because it was... No, it's not even close to a year now. I think hers was also... No. Hers, I think, was, like, the week before school happened, because we literally had to buzz her hair. She had a bad lice issue, because it's, like... It wasn't like there was, like, a mass of them or anything. It's that one would stick in her hair because her hair was so, th so thick, and it would just keep coming back. Like, it was bad. And so we finally did the ultimatum. We discussed it with her and everything. And we were like, I think it would be for the best. And I know you're going to look a little bit weird for a little bit. I'm sorry. I think it would be for the best if we buzzed your head. We didn't make her entirely bald. We gave her basically a buzz cut. And she was like, I'm just sick of the bugs. Get them out. And we shaved her head. And yes, this was also with doing intense treatments and stuff like that too. The only thing that we did not do was we did not bleach the kid's head. Because I was like, that does not fucking work. I've done it before. That does not work. People were like, well, you can bleach their hair. No, it doesn't. Stay strong, kid. Her hair's been growing back nice. This year, there has not been any lice problem. And, like, I, I got fucking panicked because, like, there's a little girl up the street... Their family is very not cleanly, like, you can fucking tell. And they've talked about it before, too, in passing, of course, because it's like, you gotta listen to something at the bus stop while you're waiting. Their house is a fucking pigsty. Uh, the little girl that lives there, their youngest daughter, had lice for months and was just spreading them to other kids. So every time the kid would be fine, she'd get on the bus and she'd have lice again. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? It's like, no. Who the hell keeps giving you lice? I think it's blank. And I'm like, oh, of course it's them, that nasty piece of shit family. And she was even begging me to walk her to school. Her school is 1.4 miles away. Now, you would think that this is fine, because the thing is, I already walk her to the bus stop in the first place, which is a mile off, which I don't mind. Like, it's literally a mile. So... You would think it's like, oh, well, Bungle doesn't really mind, right? Dude, it's on a hill. There's hills going above hills to even get to the school. So technically 1.4 turns into 2.6, and I'm not dealing with that shit, okay? <laughs> well, it's not that bad, but still, 1.4 becomes 1.8. And when you're like, you have like fucked up knees and stuff, and you're like walking like that, I was just like, nope, you're just gonna have to deal with it. If you can, try to not sit near her. And... The bus aid this year is like, we're making sure that if she does have lice, it doesn't fucking happen again. This one little girl that's been causing it, she's forced to sit up at the front by herself now. Because she was, she was like touching the other kids and like putting her hair on them and everything like that. Like you, I saw it one time when they were coming home and I'm like, what the fuck? That is disgusting. How in the fuck do you not know personal space? That's disgusting. <laughs> that would that thing. You know, honestly, with the rain, though, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go to the store today. I don't want to go to the fucking store. That shit's terrible. Like, I- there are two conditions that I do not like going to the store. When it is raining, and when it is snowing. Because it's like, well, rain's tolerable. I'm like, no, the fuck it's not. You want to know why it's not tolerable? It gets your stuff wet. It gets you wet before you go into the store. It makes it a nightmare because people don't know how the fuck to drive in the rain. In the rain. What the fuck? And then the snow. Don't even get me started. We live in New York. The snow gets really bad. It's not Buffalo levels of bad. Oh my god, no. But still, like, they they don't like plowing roads if it ends up getting to a point where it's like the they need to be done and stuff. They really don't. It's bad. They're calling my name. 
Clumsy, I can't help it. The SH figure arts, they're calling my name. I, I want to touch them. <laughs> All the talk of hair suddenly wants to hear the troll steam again for no reason. Stop. Stop. <laughs> no trolls. I'll give you a hundred trollers to so shut up. <laughs> oh my god, that was like the ones where it's like they have, um, like they're in high school or some shit like that. Real. I want to touch them and see if they feel as good of quality as the Pure Twinkle one, to be honest. Oh my god, look at her hair! No, it's not doing it properly. There we go. No, I broke myself. Hello, cheese. <laughs> god. Mm. Boobs. <laughs> okay. I didn't do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna stop here for today. Um, I don't know what tomorrow's stream will be. I I do want to do another stream tomorrow, though. I don't like it when it's like back and forth, back and forth of like we're streaming and we're not streaming. Because for some people I know that's fine, but for me it's like... Well, actually... I don't know. Really, it's dependent on stuff. Because it's like, if if we are supposed to be getting the amount of snow we're supposed to be getting, I kind of do need stuff in the house. But the problem is, is that, like, I also don't... Ah, the death number. Better be scary. What else am I supposed to fucking do? What, do you want that day to be the day where it's like, oh yeah, the rat comes back? No, the rat's not coming back until August, and I haven't worked on that at all. So, I don't really know what the fuck I'm supposed to do for scary. Oh, she has blood on her face. TOS violation banned. Like, <laughs> no, just kidding. It's not, it's not, it's not Twitch. If it was Twitch, completely different. Because it'd be like, oh, you fucking, oh, you're such a dumbass. <laughs> What'd you think? Well, the lady with boobs on her fucking thumbnail was allowed to stay on. I thought a little bit of comical blood on my face would have been fine. Just one of my eyeballs hanging out and shit, like, Imagine if we played a horror game. Adulting is scary. <laughs> it's not that bad once you've had some practice. <laughs> I don't want to play a horror game. Like, it's just... Doing taxes is not hard. <laughs> That's it. I'm sick of people talking about how doing taxes is difficult. It's not. <laughs> you got your forms. Go to the tax person. Have them take the money out of your thing. Done. You're done. <laughs> Make sure you have your social security card when you go. Make sure you have all your shit. None. Working, on the other hand, I would say yes. It's fucking stupid. <laughs> Basically, because there are people like me who can just sit on their fucking ass and watch shit. Um, actually, watch other people's shit for an hour and a half to two hours a day or longer and get paid for it. That's why people are like, oh, it's so exhausting. Why? Because you have to also entertain a chat while you're doing it, too? My brother in Christ, you're basically doing the thing that you would be doing otherwise. It's just you have a fucking group of people watching you do it. That's what the hard part is. Trying to keep people interested. No, it's not. It's not hard. I promise. If you're doing things that people like, like what we did today, people will stay interested. It's just I fucked up the last time by having it so fucking late because I was more focused on my fucking rabbit ears. Horror is boring. I sheen at the Asian shit. I sheen. I Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Jump scares are boring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sniper Wolf. No, I mean people like XQC and Asmund Gold. The only thing I will say, 90% of the time Asmund Gold is trash. There is 5% of that 90% that he is fine. And the other 5% is when he is not on the screen, which I do not think ever happens. <laughs> I swear. No. You want to know the funny fucking shit? Oh my god, I love horror. Um, you want to know the funny shit? V Shoujo put out a cryptic-ass post that was like, big things happening soon. Or big things happening? Or, sorry, big things coming soon? If they put out tryouts again, I'm not going to be able to even do that because I've talked so much shit about people. It's like, she's very gossipy. We can't have her with our stuff. And also, it's like, that's just a level of professionalism that I am not ready to fucking... 
It did see it again. Fuck you. See what I mean? Two hours and 30 minutes. Stream disconnected. You can go fuck yourself. Classic. Like, I just don't want to be part of, like, an industry. The best one to be a part of, people say, is V Shoujo. Because they let you keep your IP and everything as well. Like, they let you keep your character. So you can be this silly little stupid bitch the entire time that you're there. Perfectly fine. Um. So. I just don't want that. Obviously doesn't want you to talk about VTubers. But the problem is they do so much stupid shit. Like. Genuinely, the current VTuber drama is that Niji Sanji is putting out, like, a thing that they did where it's like, we had this concert that got postponed due to COVID, so we're finally putting it out, but then they're taking out stuff from old talents that have quote-unquote graduated, and they didn't fix the fucking poster, so it's, like, just, like, empty space. And it's like, people are like having to apologize for having certain segments be shorter because they shared them with like, uh, retired talents and stuff. And it's like, why in the hell are you putting this out now? This thing happened so long ago. Why the hell are you putting out the quote unquote VOD of this now? Like, this doesn't make sense. Then again, a lot of things from like the English branching of Niji Sanji just doesn't fucking make sense. Like the racist dude they have in there, apparently one of them is a problematic, like, I don't think it was a rapist, right? They're like sexually, they're like, um, they're very overly sexually charged where it's like there are like sexual attempts and stuff from this person. Like, it's weird. Like, there's a lot of gossip in there as well. Um, a lot of hate coming from inside the company as well as the management of the EN branch. Like, it's just weird. And then people try throwing like the news people under the bus and stuff like that too. Like, because uh, specifically people like, uh, Ref says Desu and Kyo, who mainly do VTuber news and stuff, and, or VTuber coverage. And people are like, oh, these people are ruining our integrity and stuff like that. And it's like, no, they're just exposing you for, like, what your company, or what the company that you're associated with basically is, like, doing that's really fucked up. Like, that's really the only thing that they're really there for, for the most part. <laughs> well, like, I get they have personalities and stuff, but, like, a lot of their things are, like, What's this sensationalized hit piece? I don't know anything about VTubers. All I know is cute voice, cute face, nice tits. <laughs> My god. <laughs> I mean, like, the thing is... I don't want to do the cute voice. The cute voice makes me feel like I'm very fake. I just... I just don't know, like... I love Mountain Dew so much, but, you know, there are so much better varieties of flavor of soda. I mean, you could definitely do, um, Coca-Cola? Kill a witch! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't... <laughs> I hate how, like, just, I can switch from being super cute to normal to elderly woman super fucking quick. No, I, I fucking hate coke. I, I think it's like just, I think it's gross. <laughs> okay, we need to stop. It's time to stop. Edit it a bit. Edit it a bit and you get Fluttershy. Pinkie Pie, I fucked Discord. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't believe. That, like, she actually got with Discord in the end. I was like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Have you considered voice acting? No. I don't have a good enough mic for that. Someone find something to distract her. We need a longer stream. <laughs> have you heard about jelking? <laughs> have you heard of Eden Clo Washington and Mr. Hands? What mic do you have? It's a toner. I have no idea what, like, current thing it is. No, I cannot get a different mic. Hold on. This shit was, like, only, uh, 30 bucks? What mic does this fucking say I have right now? No, I want to see the mic I have. I don't... Microphone, yes. Microphone's access? That's not what I want. It's not letting me see my stuff. 
Uh, toner TC3 audio. Kingdom Clone mentioned. <laughs> God, the fucking window sounds juicy right now. Shit. What is internet? <laughs> By chance, do you know that Vaporeon? Yes, I do. The most fuckable Pokemon. Terms of human breeding, etc. When in reality, dude, a Gardevoir is fucking right there. The low punny is right there. <laughs> Like, hell, the fucking, um, super horny, uh, pal from Pal World. Would you like to extend your car? Clumsy, I don't have a car. <laughs> I only have house insurance. <laughs> That's like, just in case anything fucking happens. Like we said, it's like, they're adding a new raid boss into Pal World. And I was like, wood. <laughs> like, she's goth mommy. Wood. She doesn't even look attractive! Wood. <laughs> doesn't stop the collars. Nah, fam. Um, so the thing is, I don't get spam calls like that. It's normally just, um, like, you know, like, silence on the end of the phone. So it's basically just to, like, track and, like, see if, like, the number is active. That's the kind of, uh, spam calls I get. Because if it registers me as picking up the phone, it registers their system as, oh, this line is still active. Like, if I don't answer the phone, they think I'm dead. So, <laughs> if there's a hole, there's a goal. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> you have a burp and it just tastes like menthol gas. Disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. It's also the bane of having tonsil stones, too. It makes it so much fucking worse. Tinkathon? Oh, no. Finally, after three hours, I finished my fucking tea. Oh, my God. Well, yeah, no, um, let me see. Like, the shipping information on the Suruga- uh, Surugia? I'm just gonna keep saying Surugaya, I apologize. You and Fel should do a kidnapping prank on Scary Call. No. Oh good, you called! I need help! <laughs> no. No. No, cause then like, for some- I actually knew someone who tried to do that, and the person hung up the phone and immediately called 911 and told them like, where the location was of the hostage. And it's like, no, 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 we were just joking with them because they're a spam caller. And the cop was like, well, don't fucking do it again. We got other shit we got to do. There's a murder happening right now on Blank Street. And the person was like, that's like only four streets over. What the fuck? <laughs> Belle answers the phone and you cover your mouth and start screaming. No, I remember the fucking, um... <clears throat> I, I fucking remember uh the one video... I don't remember if it's like just a standard video or if it's a TikTok, but it's a person answering like um one of those spam calls and they put a colander over it and they just start hitting the colander with a spoon. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um YouTube obviously or else it's not going to work. Colander? Spam call colander. That's not that's that's John Cena. <laughs> no, it's a uh, prank calling two scammers at the same time. Um, no. I don't see it now. I saw one up top, but I don't think it's that. No, because this is fifty eight seconds. I spelled spam wrong. I can't fucking find it. Is this it? It's a short. Oh, it's 10 seconds. Okay, yeah, I think this is it. I don't... Can I do volume on that or no? I don't think I can. If this is loud, I apologize.
It's not even gonna be loud, really? Okay. Hold on. Let me fucking refresh that after I turn this up. Hold up. Does it just not have noise on it? Oh, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> that is- that is dumb. Hold on. You've ruined my day, you jackass. I have to adjust this a bit more. There we go. Oh my god, that annoys me. Oh my god. So if they were headsets... Not as loud as an actual kitchen. The problem is, is that that's supposed to be super fucking loud. It's just... They uploaded it without any volume. That says a lot because I turned my... Like, the funny thing is, it's like, I broadcast this through a TV. Um, I turned my TV up up to, like, 30 and I could not fucking hear it. And it's not going through anything else. It's going through the TV. Which is really weird. So... I don't know. I remember this one goal... I mean... Balls. I remember this one guy who kept mentioning me- I can't fucking think. <laughs> this is what happens when we go on for too long. My brain starts going like- Ball sack. <laughs> Shit in my dick. Okay. <laughs> I remember this one guy who kept calling me for months, wanting to- wanted to run a debt scam on my grandma, and eventually I picked up and just screamed bloody murder. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I broke my fucking TV like two days ago playing VR, and the new backup what I have is better. But making it work is dog shit. <laughs> fucking shit. Forgot another thing. How do we forget children? How did we forget we got chicken roast? How do you forget you buy food? What what the fuck? How the fuck do you forget that you get food in your house? Like, how? Fuck. You know, what I've been kind of wanting is because last time I made fucking, um... Fuck. Um, the other day, I made pasta salad. And it was some of the best shit I'd had in months. Imagine coming to me. Go check your fucking cabinets. Um, I made pasta salad, and I was like, oh, this shit tastes pretty good. I love this stuff, because it's like, I add, um, broccoli, cheese, and tomatoes to it. And it's super fucking good. I ate it all before the kid could even get any of it. <laughs> I feel so bad. Anyways, I, I need to get off now. My back is starting to scream at me. Hopefully the weather calms down so I can go and get stuff. Cheese. I should get more baby bell to be honest. Uh, the last one we got was Gouda, and no one liked it in the house besides me. So I was like, oh fuck. Next thing you'll tell me is that the oven isn't a drying rack. O V E N. And number two, no, that's your drying machine. <laughs> I'm also off first break of the day. See y'all. See ya, Chandler. Thanks for coming out. Storage. No, dude, you can use your oven for storage. You store food in there while it gets warmed up and cooked. <laughs> nah. We have to leave. We have to. We'll be back tomorrow with more. Okay? It's not bad. You cook with it. No, you- No, you- Don't tell that joke. <laughs> You're on stream. Don't tell that fucking joke. The Asian in me says no. How the fuck else are you supposed to warm up Salisbury steak? Okay? <laughs> Okay. You have to leave. You're not pressing me into doing this anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have real life shit I have to take care of. My coin! No, 
because it comes out tasting like shit in the microwave, because we did that last night. Like, my smart ass was like, hey, um, I want macaroni and... Shit, I want macaroni and I want Salisbury steak and I want them as one. And Fal kept going to me, like, the entire time. He was like, oh, don't do that, it'll taste like shit. I'm like, I'm not fucking listening to you. And then I finished a bowl of it, and I, I walk out very slowly to the kitchen. And I'm like... I should have listened to you. And he just starts laughing. <laughs> I'm like, you're so mean. He's like, yeah, but it wasn't what you needed to hear, right? I'm like, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh god, I have a headache. What the f I'll be back with we pring stuff to the Pring <laughs> You mean this? You have a can of Pringles? Oh god, I look like a fucking bitch. The pranks! Oh, I just threw off my shit. <laughs> don't get the original kind anymore. They don't taste good. If you can, try to find, like, extra salt in ones. Cook out. No. <laughs> it's too wet for that. Alright, we have to end. We have to end. What are we missing? Cock. <laughs> <laughs>